Welcome back, everyone. We are here with the Banjo Kazooie Randomizer run. We've got TSR Stormed as the main runner and uh, two commentators as well. If you would all like to introduce yourselves. Hey, I'm TSR Stormed. Hi, I'm Giant Duke of Three. And I'm Hat Warren Gamer. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> I guess we're gonna start the run here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the randomizer is a work in progress. All right, talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whenever you're ready, you can just count no, it down, and then you can go into all the stuff. Loud. All uh, right. Well, I'll, I'll whisper. Here's this, this <laughs> all right, I'll count down. Um, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one, go. Now stop. Jerks. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go talk to Bottles here. He's gonna come out. He's gonna tell us how As many jiggies do. we need. Yep. Uh, so I guess like while we're looking at Bottles' text, we can actually say what is randomized. Um, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if you guys just saw, he needs 550 notes and six wait, did I? jiggies. I, wait, I think I, I think I accidentally didn't learn the moves. Oh no. <laughs> All right, I guess we're uh, learning the moves. It might, be, it might be faster to just reset at this point. That's not even a move you learn, dude. That, that's oh, yeah. It? Yeah, I don't, I don't it know how to do this. I'm a speedrunner. Sorry about that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I will drag uh, that's you fine, guys. Mate. That's fine. We'll just have to reset. Oh, it's oh, fine. Uh, no, don't don't reset the timer though. We're good. We're good. Uh -oh, I just have to reset. All good. <laughs> good run. Good run. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, uh, I will say Storm depicts, uh, random colors. Uh, you could do random colors, random presets, choose a preset, or just have, like, vanilla banjo. Um, we also have the option to customize your own colors. Um, yes, I think this banjo looks cursed. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll start again here. Sorry about that. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'll just go three, two, one, go. Trying again. Uh, Take, two. <laughs> Take two. Take two. What do you mean? This is the first try. Yeah, first try. First try. <laughs> All right. Press B. For now. <laughs> now press L R B. This is the run where we teach the speedrunner how to play. <laughs> All right. Cool. There we go. Yay! Yay. First try. All right. So, what kind of rules are we looking at here, Giant Jigglypuff? Um, so again, he needs, uh, 60 Jiggies and 550 Notes. Uh, I, I will say that, uh, he skipped that Mumbo token because he also turned off the cost for transformations. And so he's only going to be focusing on collecting, uh, Jiggies and Notes. So, um, and also, what is randomness? Uh, so, uh, you can, like, shuffle, like, the items in the game, um, by either by game or by world. Uh, in this case, he has the Jiggies, Tokens, and Empty Honeycombs shuffled by game, so they can appear um, just about anywhere. Uh, the Notes, Eggs, and Feathers are shuffled by World. Um, the Jinjos, uh, one ups Miscellaneous Items are shuffled by World. And then he has uh, World Entrances shuffled as well. Um, and because he did specifically Bottle Shuffle, Bottles will be in locations where there could be Jinjos, one ups or Miscellaneous Items, as long as like he can learn the move. Uh, we do also have a setting that skips the cutscenes, uh, so that's why you guys didn't see the intro cutscene or the layer cutscene. Alright, what's our first Oh no! Alright. I suppose we should also just add that, um, the, when we say the Jiggy's extra hand cut pieces and mumbo tokens are all shuffled by game, uh, location-wise, they're all shuffled with each other, like, so you go away and random spot that the normally has a Jiggy, you might find a mumbo token there, and whatnot, and that's, uh, usually how it works. Um, also, currently, all the world doors are open, it's just 60 Jiggies to open up the final boss to grunt on this layer. And also, all the world entrances are shuffled, that's part of the bottle shuffle uh, setting that we have on. Yeah, so, you'll see that he just found a Jiggy that like was like, normally a mumbo token location, and uh, he's in a room full of eggs, feathers, and everything, when it's usually just like a few things. Yeah. <laughs> I did not need that. Tell your dad I said hi. That was my brother. Tell your brother I said hi. Brother shout out. 
All right. Shouts to how he gave his brother. <laughs> his dynamic debut appearance in fan game marathon. Um. And yeah, so uh, Storm also has all the sounds randomized, so um, hopefully he doesn't have any jarring noises on. Yeah. Oh yeah, listen to this, uh, this uh, numbers music. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's all. This yeah, is a bad GB. We have a wide game wide music shuffle turned on as well, which just said to add a bit of flavor to the randomizer. It's kind of great that the first level ends up being the rest of the like day. Yeah, good you get it out of the way soon. Yeah, you can barely get that jiggy. Oh my god, what? there's a slow timer on this. Hey, you got that. Yeah, so lots of make great noise every time you wanna <laughs> collect the jiggy. Just... Um, a lot of noises like the ginginator noise and stuff were also shuffled within all this, so, uh, sorry about that if you guys are... <laughs> I kinda like having the, some of the ginginator noises shuffled in, although, like, when I say that, I, I just remember one time I had a seed where the, I think it was, um, I think it was either the G collection or the final Jinjo. Uh, was shuffled, well, that was, which is really a jingle though. That was shuffled with um, the ending of the game where the Ginginator pops out uh, of the statue and then adds that entire music sequence. And you can tell, still can't hear that, like, I don't know exactly how to describe it. That, if I can uh, interrupt you, Hat Wearing okay, Gamer, yeah, uh, for Storm it. just died. Yeah, just so I couldn't it. get through the fan blade really? because I was at 1 HP, so I couldn't damage boost there, unfortunately. But yeah, uh, it's, it's a all good. Hard. Um, in the vanilla game, you have to click the button in the um, uh, on the other side, like the control room. Um, but because it's too slow, Storm doesn't like doing that. Yeah. <laughs> but that's fine. There's like I already got the Jiggy in there. There was a Jinjo, but we're not gonna go get the Jinjos. It's fine. Yeah, I need them. And I believe the uh, button combo is randomized, so we're gonna have to uh, look yes. at that. Uh, I should probably pull up your settings, because, um... Yeah. That'd be nice to know. Oh yeah, also, <laughs> there's, uh... Uh, there are a lot of features that weren't actually turned on for this marathon, either because, um, we want to make sure that we can get this done for the marathon, or just because, uh, runner's preference. Um... So let's go ahead and... Oh, dude, we talked a lot in this chat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Two mumbo tokens, unfortunate. We don't need mumbo tokens, as uh, Julie Puff said. Free transformations. Oh yeah, so we need to... We're kind of going in a weird route here. Uh, I'm gonna start from the back of the ship now. I'm going to run across here. Uh, oh shoot, uh, is that a... Oh, you have as vanilla code. Oh, vanilla code? Okay. That's... Yeah, that's what that means. I was yeah, making sure, because that chopper was in the way of the code. The 3, 2, 1, triple 1 code. Uh, yeah. If you do shuffle that code, the enemy will be pushed back. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Those, uh, for anyone who doesn't know the randomizer as well, it's worth mentioning. Oh, that, I don't have BD um, Buster. Any... What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, any Jiggy that spawns, or any collectible that spawns in, um, doesn't actually get shuffled. Uh, it just still exists as it normally does. So we still know that there's a Jiggy there. Um, regardless of what the shuffle settings are. Surprise enemy though. I don't think there's anything up here. I should also mention that, um, uh, we are shuffling the, uh, Jiggies, Tokens, and Honeycombs by game. And there are some Jiggies that share a flag, uh, with other Jiggies. For example, in Click Clock Wood, a lot of the Jiggies share a flag. Um, so there might be an instance where we go to a location where there's normally like a token or a jiggy and there will be nothing there because he's already clicked with a flag from a different one. Yeah, um, so a lot of, the more like kind of infamous one is the Bumbo token in Mad Monster Mansion that's duplicated, that has uh, duplicated data values. Um, it's infamous because it's kind of weird, but the thing is is that um, there are a bunch of jiggies like that in Clickwalk Wood because there are some jiggies that just uh, 
or there's some chickens that just exist in multiple seasons, and once you collect one of them, you can, uh, you've already got the other one as well. I don't want, there's one jiggy that exists in all four seasons at the very top of the tree, so that jiggy is, that one jiggy has starter values in four different locations across the game in the game wide shuffle scenes. Go uh -huh. Um, also because he's uh, shuffling by game, uh, the total screen will actually be incorrect. So, yeah, you might want to yes, check how many jiggies he's actually. That is. Has. Yeah. yeah. We have, um, what we, what, what's usually an option, um, I don't know if it's turned on for this seed, but the, it is, uh, the option to have Brent Tilda tell you how many things are in, are in each world. So we do have, um, that option as a thing, but I think Storm wanted it off for this run, so, um, she wouldn't be able to tell us anyway. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so all Brent Tilda will tell us is the answer to the grunty questions in Fennus Fun. If we even do it. <laughs> Does this first version have fake jiggies? Uh, sometimes. If you collect two jiggies uh, that have the same flag in the same area, um, one of them won't actually be counted. Oh, that ripper just fell through the floor. Nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, rippers think that walls and floors are just uh, options. So uh, a lot of enemies uh, that get moved from like their original location, um, they don't behave uh, <laughs> normal at all. For example, uh, beehives are the only enemies that don't have. Oh shit! Hold up. You learned talent trot. Yay! Yeah, our first move. <laughs> yes, yeah, um, so we have a move. I think there's uh, yeah. Beehives are the only enemies without enemy boundaries, which an enemy boundaries basically prevent an enemy from going too far away from their original location. Um, so whenever an enemy goes there, they like to just run around the entire map. It's kind of funny. Yep. Yeah, let me get these. I think my goal here is just to get, like, maybe 70 notes? 60 notes? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Rusty Book Bay is actually kind of nice for the rando because um, there aren't a lot of move requirements. Um, you can do a majority of this world uh, with just the Spiral Mountain. In fact, like, once you have Big Buster, I think that's pretty much everything you can get, actually. Uh, if you want the I Honeycomb, think. you need Flight. Uh, no, you don't because uh, it's oh, that yeah. that specifically is always on. Do you want to go ahead and talk about that? Um, yeah, sure. So, um, there are some fly pads, like, this would technically be, uh, in the vanilla game. Like, if you could, if you got to Rusty Bucket Bay without learning fly in the vanilla game, and then you enter the hut, uh, that fly pad will be active. Um, and so, in the randomizer, if you haven't learned fly, and you go visit that fly pad, then it'll just be active. And it's the same for a whole bunch of shock jump spring pads. Um, so there's that one in... This one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, so there's actually the one in um, in the lair that, right, uh, come not too far from the bubble loop swamp entrance that takes you up like it's required to go through and it takes you up to the next room. Um, every single shock jump pad in the game that's above that one is automatically turned on because in theory, um, in the vanilla game, you can't get to it without actually learning shock jump itself so you know the player would be none the wiser yeah so um there are also some uh flight pads with this but not all the flight pads it's like a weird mixture yeah with it's kind of weird exactly what happens with the fly pads uh, I kind of wish the I kind of wish the one in Clanky's cabin wasn't like that though. But at the same time, probably, sorry, one second. We probably mention like what these vent yeah. things are because I don't think people are. Oh yeah, yeah, it. definitely mention that. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, so, I can talk about it. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so uh, these vents that you see that you can't really see very much, um, but these are actually vents left over in the game. Uh, they were supposed to be in this level actually, and yeah, it's really cool. And they just uh, yeah, it's really cool. They damage you. I mean, they're they're perfect. They they function like you know something that would be in the final game, but they're just not in the game. Uh, they got replaced by Champas mostly in this level. I'm pretty sure. I think that's like the community consensus. 
It's such a shame. Yeah. Uh, oh, like, they're, they're, the, they're a little uh, hard to see. Um, cause, like, uh, the models for the Champas are a little further up than the Cluckers and the Vents. So, uh, you gotta be careful when going next to a wall that normally has a wall enemy. Try to do a quick dive there. Oh. Unsuccessful. I love... I love how... I love the music shuffle we're on right now. We've got a... We've got a Grunty's Lair rendition and playing the rest of the back of the day. It's great. It's the one yeah. that's in the very first room of the lair, outside of, um... What's its name? Uh, Mumbo's Mountain. That crate it's cycle. Special. Uh, I think the last thing I'll do in this level, actually, there's a couple checks I need to still do. Um, there's two cabins. I was about to, I was about to ask if you were going to snorkel, but then I really no, I don't have. Beak yeah, I don't have beak buster. <laughs> I think uh, we only, do have uh, some trackers for the warps and the um, like collectibles. I'm not sure if Storm's using them. Uh, yeah. not right now, no. I decided, I decided not to, because I didn't want to... I, I wanted to focus on the game. It sure, was kind of... No yeah. Uh, so I think... We just... Yeah, other side. Yeah, hopefully we'll get in a level where you can better see those vents, because they're really cool. But also really annoying. So that's probably why they weren't at it. Alright, so... That's a tiny vent. <laughs> nice. Uh, I think Cluck Cluck was the level that really shows them off. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm gonna do a glitch here. I don't have to do it. I opened up this thing, but... You know what? Let's just do it. <laughs> Alright, I just clipped through the ship there. And we're gonna get... Oh, you can see the TNT. That's cool. I didn't know that. So we're gonna get into this loading zone early. I mean, not early. But, you know. Okay, what do we got here? It is a Jiggy. But I'm not doing it because, first of all, I hate this boss. And I don't have eggs, so I can't quick kill it. So I'm just going to go around and get the notes and then uh, death work out Simon has Jiggy, though. I could rat a tat rat that thing. I could, but I'm not doing that. I don't like it. I don't like it. So we're, we're just not going to do it. And then we're just going to die. So come here. Give me some love taps. Alright. So hopefully... Uh, we got everything there. Yay, congratulations, you died! We need to make sure that you collect some lives throughout this run. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll be doing that. Uh, you'll see the bottle's text has changed just to, Cause like, normally he would say, wait, you didn't learn all three moves. Um, but it would confuse people cause like, the moves got shuffled. Bottle skip. Oh, <laughs> nice bottle skip. Yep, nice. Um, you actually need to talk to that bottles to open up the other note doors. Um, the note doors have been removed. Um, but the A10 note, note door will still be there, and you can't open that unless you talk to that bottles first. Although I think did we got the bottles molehill. Yeah, the bottles molehill is well. also next to the A10 note door, but it's slower. Because mm -hmm. oh. um, if you skip the, uh, if you like activate it and go through the warp at the same time, you save time. Yep. I'm just gonna Good check one, bottles. check back here, yeah. and it's a yeah, mumbo usually there's a, yeah, there's a mumbo token in vanilla there, so that could be that has the potential to be a jiggy. Yep. Yeah, second level here. We're gonna go see what TTC is. Um, place your bets now. <laughs> I'm guessing TTC is vanilla. I'm not a lot of guess. Oh yeah, true. I've yeah. Played the seed. Yeah, I had yeah. to test it out. Uh, I guess check and guess. On Kobe's route. And it's <laughs> nice. It's oh, vanilla. It's vanilla. Let's go. Uh, there is, uh, logic for, um, the world orders. Uh, it's usually the ones with more accessibilities are first, so, um, you'll, you'll mostly see, like, TTC, RBB, um, those ones first, and Quick Clock Woods usually, like, later in the game. Um, most will, in Bottle Shuffle, most worlds will have, uh, two moves. Sometimes they'll have one, sometimes they, uh, they'll have three, but three is very rare. No pun intended. <laughs> I get it. I'm so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So, uh, this, uh, there's gonna be a Jiggy here in, in Nipper. Um, it always spawns there. That's well, just... actually, this one's technically a floating Jiggy, but, uh, it didn't get shuffled because, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the fly for it is weird, and it, whenever it gets moved, um, it doesn't count towards the goal. Also, nice, uh, music. Oh, yeah, I'll show you, I'll showcase this enemy right here. Um, this enemy does not have a hitbox, so you can just walk through it. It's the crab from the, the sandcastle. Oh, yeah, he on. doesn't activate until um, you do the same castle. Yeah, and we're probably not gonna do that. Yeah, no sand castle here. I mean, if I find Beak Buster, but I I'm probably not gonna do it anyways. It's so. I'm gonna go check like, behind here because there's. Yep, Jiggy. I'm gonna do a Jiggy hey. skip here. Skips the dance if you're in water. Pretty cool. I found that music, the music playing the shell so... Uh, I got oh, the wrong I know what the words. It's so weird in my brain because I was expecting the, the crash and then the other music that normally follows in the cutscene at the end of the game. Every time I hear uh, SpongeBob the Jiggy, I think of uh, SpongeBob going, Ooh, whenever I, he's like, uh, how many points do I need, Mrs. Puff? Six. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Hundred. Huh? <laughs> oh, are we? I almost hit that enemy. Uh, Hi. please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Oh no. Oh, and they did. You hit yeah, I've never seen that before. Way. That you has never happened. There. Uh, just one note here. All right. Uh, and we'll get our lovers gold. And my boy's back. All right. Oh my gosh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that enemy was in a place where there's normally a beehive, and since there's no enemy boundary, he's just running around living his best life. Or, is this a jiggy? No, I thought that was a jiggy. Okay, well, never mind. Oh, if I, I don't so find uh, if I don't find Beak Buster here, I can show off a little, uh, little trick that I accidentally uh, rediscovered. You're guaranteed to find Beak Buster and uh, um, Shock Jump here. Okay. Because uh, the logic is uh, within the first two worlds, uh, you need to find those moves in order to unlock Punker's Cavern. Interesting. Alright, cool. Good to know. Oh, move. Yes. All right. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm just gonna love tap clamp through there. Everyone forgets that there's a that, one up. I find that, that spot. I find that spot here at the at this group is one of the few ones I tend to forget is there. Yeah, there's Beak Buster there. Speak right, of the devil. We got there. We found it. When I was actually doing this, run, I went here first just because like I'm like I don't want to forget this. <laughs> Um, I think the, uh, sandcastle can be open sometimes, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'd like the gate for the sandcastle, like inside. If but you I think collect that... the Jiggy already, it'll automatically be open. Yeah, then I'll do that last. Alright, cool, Blubber's gold. Oh, dang, there's Jinjo. Alright, um, I don't know if, I think Shock Springs in here, right? Uh, it's either here in Rusty Bucket Bay, yes. Because it has to be within the first two worlds. Right, hopefully I didn't miss it. <laughs> I think I got everything in Rusty Bucket Bay. I think you're fine. Yeah, oh. yeah so we were actually before. thinking about mean percent for this run, where it's uh, 69 Jiggies, uh, 420 notes. Um, but we decided to make it like cleaner numbers. That oh, one no. take a little bit. Okay. Oh, I'll get the one up. 5, 50, 60. We need one up, so... Yeah, if I didn't find Beak Buster, there's a clip on that, like, uh, wooden, um, staircase that you can do, and you can just go right through the, the ground and get into, uh, the pirate ship early without Beak Buster. It's pretty cool. Uh, we don't use it in speedruns, so... I don't know if I should get this. I'm... I'm gonna get it anyways. Just, mm -hmm. See what, huh? Just for the meme, you know. You're already there, might as well. Yeah. Uh, that's what we're taking. All right, since we don't have flight, um, in a few seconds, I'm gonna try something. Um, if I don't get it in like ten attempts, I'm gonna back off. But uh, o only ten attempts. Only ten attempts. Well, I mean, it's, it's really quick, so ten attempts should be like what? 
like four, three, four minutes. All right. There's a way to get on top of here. Yeah, yeah, I'm about. To. So uh, there's a way to get on top of the uh, to the lighthouse without flight. Um, it's extremely hard. Again, we don't do it in zones. Okay, what am I doing? I hate this. I hate this. This sucks. All right. Um. <laughs> Oh yeah, though, the uh, mumble tokens in that chest uh, do not randomize, so don't be. Yeah, shocked. they're too close to each other, so whenever they're shuffled with something else, uh, if like it's nice like honeycomb. two jiggies or two uh, honeycombs, uh, they don't uh, like one of them doesn't count. All right, here we go. Did not get it the first time. Yeah, so, um, as he was trying to say earlier, like, because he doesn't have flight, um, uh, he's trying to show off a trick that's not normally done in the speedrun, but was known about, um, and he's trying to get to the top of the tower without actually, um, flying. It's a pretty hard trick, so we're trying to... Woo! He looks like he's getting it, though. Nice! Got it. All right. I'm really proud of that. That was like third try. <laughs> uh, I will say the uh, logic for the randomizer does not include tricks that uh, like a speedrunner would know that a casual wouldn't know. Um, but it was still very impressive that you got that. So congrats. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I practiced that a little bit before the uh, run today. So cool. Practice <laughs> paid off. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna mention about the, uh, witch switches, though, so, um, the witch switch for, for example, um, Mumbo's Mountain supposedly requires you to use the termite, uh, the logic doesn't actually account for that because it would really limit, like, the order of the worlds, but there is a feature called, um, no transformations where, uh, it removes all the checks where Mumbo would normally just transform you. But because Thunder, oh, well, sorry, not Thunder. Wow, shout out to Thunderstorm. <laughs> uh, shout out uh, because uh, Stormed is a speedrunner. He's just gonna slow boost to get that one. But he might have some G's that he cannot reach. I think I got everything right up here. They can go down now. Woo! There. there we go. All right, move now. So right. before I mentioned how. Uh, uh, the gingers are shuffled with one-ups and miscellaneous items. Um, there are some eggs in the world, and uh, honestly some like feathers and uh, gold feathers uh, that are considered objects because of the way they're structured in like the files. Um, nice Ripper. <laughs> I think I can get to clip this guy out of bounds. Come here Ripper, come on. Come on. Come on, you don't like walls, I know you do. Come on. Did you clip out? I don't know. I'm just gonna swim around. I don't, I don't see him, so I'm guessing he did. Yeah. Quickly rebuild your life while the rip is gone. I think that's it. Yep. All right. Cool. Yeah. So, um, if you see some uh, like eggs and feathers where there normally is like is like a ginger or something, it's because those are the ones that are structured differently in the set of files. I'm gonna go give Blubber his gold, and I'm gonna go inside um, the ship, the uh, beak bust area. How many jigs have we got so far? Okay, so in the wall. I might want to keep a notepad with some calculations. <laughs> oh, I'll grab an extra life. Thank you. Oh, that sucks. Uh, just one note in here. Probably should just check from the other room, see if it was viable to go in there. But, uh... Yep. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna go over to Sandcastle. Can I not get this ginger, though? That kind of sucks. Uh, oh, there's a meat up there. Did you already get that one? Or was I not paying attention? Uh, you are guaranteed, uh, shock jump within the first two minutes. Okay, I must have missed something. What did I miss? So it's probably the first level. So I need to go back to the first level. Um, I've never done that. I'm yeah, not I could be wrong. Yeah, I could be wrong. <laughs> so uh, maybe I'll just 
Come on, can I get this? What? Okay. <laughs> you can normally easily get that with Beak Buster. I didn't check. Was this open? Oh, it's not open. It's a mumbo token. Never mind. Uh. Yeah, I. Maybe I just ran right past it and just didn't notice. Uh. Good thing we have a overestimate for this uh, rando seed. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> why I did that, because of this stuff. Uh, so it's not there. Can't spawn on top of there. Uh... Yeah, I think for the description of uh, this marathon, we had it as competitive settings, which is normally uh, 35 jiggies, 400 notes. But because uh, we had said like a two hour, 30 minute estimate, um, we bumped up the jiggy and note count just like a little bit, and uh, we're gonna see if that will affect the stuff. <laughs> I think it would. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm on. Oh, I missed this tree. Oh wow! You, oh, you know what? I missed to nice. check actually back here though. Let me go check over here. Did you? Did you? You did get that move in, in the shuffle jump spot, right? Nope. He went to Sharky Island. Where's the crate? What? Oh. <laughs> nice. So you not... just, you, you, you've ridden past that molehill like multiple times, and I'm thinking to myself, like, are you, 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 you gonna learn the move? Or did you get it when I was looking? Hey, Storm. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get I, it. I don't know if we should tell him at this point. I'm going. I'm. I'm going to get it. I see it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, I'm trying so this not to spoil right. the run for you. Um, because again, I have played the seed. Sorry, I I play. I used to play on uh, emulator, and it's kind of hard to see stuff because this level has a lot of brown in it. So, my bad, guys. <laughs> That's funny though. I don't know if it was really a spoiler to mention that, because, like, I could see it myself. I was like, you're, you're way past some mouth, though. Yeah, I think I just didn't see it because it was vanilla. Sorry, guys. I play, I play, uh, <laughs> this thing called, uh, I think, well, FFM, but I play 80% and, uh, 100% for speedruns, and there's this thing called FFM, and we don't learn the moves in that category. So sometimes I just, like, run past moves, because I, I do that in a speedrun. So yeah, my bad. Oh, here's our last Jinjo. I did not check this. Uh, I don't think we got the Jinjo uh, on the jump pad either. I'm not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> marathon, <laughs> marathon luck. Or just not even color. luck. <laughs> I'm just being Anyways, bad guys. Sorry. Not a big deal. Um, you, did you want to do the uh, X marks the spot too? Uh oh yeah, I could do that. But... Probably not worth it at this point. I've wasted so much time in here. Um, it's only one jiggy. I can go find others. There's what a hundred jiggies in the game. I just need about fifty-five uh, percent of them. Yeah. So okay. And we can always come back to levels once we find more moves and do stuff. Do the stuff, you know. Uh, I got yeah. When the moves get by, the camera Did gets I? Funky. I didn't hit the witch switch. Dude, I am. Oops. Don't worry, just just do that impossible jump again. No, no. Oh we my gosh. <laughs> uh, we'll come back to, to that level. Back we'll come back to TTC. Anyway, so you'll probably have flight by then. Yeah. I wouldn't be too worried. Just remember what you missed. Oh, level. Mumbo's? I think? Mumbo's mountain. Yeah, it looks like Mumbo's to me. Yeah, I can tell by the sound. Mumbo's. Frame around the sound. Uh, there's one, uh... uh... That's usually easy as a lot of stuff. One jiggy check here. Alright, cool. Stuff. Jiggy. Yeah, yeah uh, Jeffrey, uh, you in the chat. Do the stuff. You know, just What's do the stuff. Do just do the stuff, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so yeah, this level shouldn't be stuff. too bad. We can pretty much do mostly everything in here. So if we don't find eggs, then that'd be bad. Uh, someone in chat is asking what's competitive settings. Um, 
<laughs> so we were originally gonna do 35 jiggies, 400 uh, notes, because that's typically like an hour-long run, and uh, it's most people's preferences. Uh, but because we overestimated, uh, we actually raised the uh, jiggy count and the uh, note count. Uh, Mumbo's Melon's nice in that uh, you can get most things in this uh, world without like additional moves. Um, however, you do need a uh, big buster for a G and a Jinjo and five notes, and you need eggs for Juju and Kanga. And he's just gonna do a uh, Ticker Tower skip. Per my list. But yeah, it's really cool. I have a video on it if anybody wants to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do you call those, um, shameless promotion? Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's just chat, oh, uh, Mumbo Token. Let's see if I find a Jiggy in there, though. And some notes. Got the ginger there. Of course, this is the, oh, no, no, we had the gold in the previous, in the previous world. But yeah, the orange is a miscellaneous object. <laughs> so it comes into the shuffle. Stone Blue also spotted the other Jiggy that was behind the uh, leg of the Stonehenge. Usually there was a lot more token in the game. A lot of notes. Game over. Oh, that's the camera for eggs. You've got the first Ancient ways of the eggs. Okay, this is good. We can, I think, 100% this world? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. Yep, you cool. can. Alright. Yep. I'm gonna go, actually, not gonna do that. I'm gonna go down here. Uh, you can typically skip the um, moves if you know like what camera's associated with it. Um, the reason why I knew that that was gonna be eggs is because the camera went to the way to the eggs. Well, usually, if you get a move where, if you get a move in the world where the, you know, the, the original move is not originally from this world, uh, the camera just tends to go to a specific, like, I want to say, I don't want to say a random location, because it's the same location every time for each individual move. But yeah, so like if you want me to explain location. that a little bit, um, yes, so do that. each move has an associated camera or cameras, like for example, um, running shoes and the boots have two cameras, um, and so the game tries to find those camera IDs and like will put you there. If th those cameras don't exist, uh, the randomizer uh, manipulates like the camera and camera triggers in order to. Um, uh, adjust so that there is a camera for those moves. Well, yeah, Congo's just not eating my eggs. I don't know why that happened. Uh, he's on a diet, I heard. Yeah, my bad, dude. Sorry, he's Kongo. trying to be vegan. Trying to stick to bananas. Yay, he hit the witch switch this time. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> down, down at the entrance to Rusty Bucket Bay. Uh, I think you had to go back there anyway for like the button combos and stuff, so not a big deal. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh. We also would like to mention that um, typically in these kinds of runs, um, Door of Grunty Skip and A10 Net No Door Skip, even though it's not RTA viable, are normally banned. Um, so uh, we're trying to not get around the um, requirement for like the jiggies and stuff, but Storm might just show that off just for chicken noodles. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how, how time is, and then, yeah. So we'll do it or not, but it's a cool trick. But very frustrating. Yeah, uh, it's a very time-based uh, um, jump. I just can't get over the sound. I'll stop now. I apologize. <laughs> I really hope your brother's like, what's going on? <laughs> I think you can hear. Okay, 
Let's go over here. I didn't see this here. No, it's not, that's not real. That's not real. You lied to me. That's not the one. What? <laughs> People in chat are going. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is this. Okay. Joke no. is, really randomized with the is that ever randomized? I feel like that's never randomized. Uh, so, the. Uh, the two empty honeycombs in Mumbles Mound, for some reason, if you move one, then the other one potentially will not count towards your total. Don't know why it happens. It also happens in other Banjo Kazooie ROM packs. Um, so those guys will be vanilla unless you say allow soft lock. There are some features that say, hey, if you shuffle this, this will end up being a soft lock. Okay, interesting. So, if you want to potentially screw over your run, hit the last oh. soft locks button. I uh, tried to skip the jiggy jig there, but he messed up. Oh, this is not the, the 10 jiggy jig one. Oh yeah, we got 11 uh, jiggies in here. That is not vanilla. I want the viewers to know that I think that sound doesn't really start with a W. It's like a, it's not like, ooh, it's like, <laughs> Let the chat have their fun. <laughs> Yeah, well, let me have my fun and criticize them. I think I deserve this. Just saying. <laughs> we'll, we'll, let it, we'll let you have the hat wearing game, game, right? <laughs> That's the only so thing in life I've been forced criticizing. I got a lot of criticism for the rando, so... <laughs> I feel that. Alright, let's see what uh, Bubblegum Swamp ends up being. Pretty easy pick. All right, I'm fine with that. Uh, we don't have flight yet, but I'm hoping we get it in here. Uh, I will go ahead and mention that uh, Freezy Peak does have a current glitch in the rando where sometimes a move will show up in two locations. So if you see a uh, molehill that uh, doesn't actually teach you a move, it's because it's one of those duplicate ones. Not sure why that happened. Also, uh. Uh, Captain Bowser has rightly pointed out we are in fact in Freezy's Peak now, so we're going to be experiencing some Wahays very soon, maybe. Uh, okay. No, we're not doing Wahays. Sorry, guys. I don't do Boggy. Actually, I could do it. Whoa. I could do Boggy. Wait, I could maybe do Boggy. This is we'll so see. not Wahay! What's their time right now? <laughs> I don't really- I don't have access to the stream, so... We'll, we'll see if you can oh, get that. Um, there are that. some like uh, additional features that um, we don't have turned on for like the marathon. Uh, so you can uh, make the race harder. You can make uh, Mr. Vile uh, bigger, etc. Um, and I think those are turned off because we just want to make sure that we can get this run done in time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it leaves a surprise if you guys want to try out the random for yourself. Um, there is a Discord where we're glad to help you, and uh, you can just get the link from the GitHub. Heads up, Windows Defender might say that it's a virus. It is not. But this video for a It's not a virus. It's not a virus, everyone. I, it, I, I'm saying this is someone who has downloaded the randomizer. Yeah, me too. As someone who, every single update. As it's someone not a who virus. created the rando, and it tells me that the uh, the file that I made is a virus. I'm like, hello. <laughs> that is so funny. We need no turn here. These two. Uh, transformations are free, but I guess it's faster just to get like, the notes, um... I'll get this note. If I find a move over here, I'll... That'd be good. You can always show off the snowman snowball thing if you, uh, really need... Oh yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna go do it by, uh, by Mumbo's... Those, like, notes in the water. Oh, nice. Ticker just clipped into the floor. Yep, just... yep. Ticker I just believe that's only game. a beehive, and beehives actually float in the air, so they don't really care to, you know, have a like, collision and stuff. This flight? Yep. I think I memorized that camera angle. So now we have flight. Cool. But we don't have beak bombs, so we can't do much in this level. There's, there's uh, I mean, it just makes like, a few stuff. things faster, but yeah, you'll probably solve the final uh, thing yeah. for the... Actually, I'm gonna do a different route now that I have flight. I usually don't have flight in here, but... I have 50 feathers, let's just do it. Let's 
so laggy here. Hold on. Alright, whatever. Just gonna click this ginger normally. Cool. Alright. Another move here. Super slippery here, so I don't want to slip off. Oh, well, this is that instance move. of a duplicate move. I didn't yeah. want to mention it. Well, I haven't actually seen that person. Uh, it, it move. only happens in freeze. Oh. Uh, um, not sure means, why, but so that means there's an extra thing of the like the one-up shuffle group. Like, does that mean like an extra life is taken out of the game? Yeah. Or... Oh, he's he's down one extra life. Boohoo! Like, it's not a big. <laughs> okay, like, I mean, that's that's not a big deal, but it's like, if you're down at Jinjo, that's... I mean, like, if you want to 100% the game, that, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, yeah, no, you're okay. fine. Okay, um, down the present. Whoa! <laughs> Type 1 if you want to bully Storm into doing the boggy race. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go this way. I talked on my keyboard. Yeah, so, um, the randomizer isn't new per se, um, but because, like, uh, modifications keep happening and different settings uh, are appearing, uh, well, not appearing, I guess getting, like, created, uh, there isn't, like, a formal route. And so a lot of it is exploring. Um, it's just like knowing the options for each world, uh, knowing like what moves you need to 100% it. Um, so uh, a lot of it's just improv for now. Yeah, but we have uh, what tap tap tappy tap tap taxi. Tap, tap, tap. All right, I think I forgot to mention uh, something. Yeah. So, I've been skipping text with uh, L, R, and B. Um, this is just a vanilla thing that you can do. And it skips text. Uh, we do it in speedruns, so it's really cool. Except for the conversation with Waza. Yeah, yeah there are that skip for some reason, and we don't know why. Uh, there's the Waza text, there's the intro bottles text, there's the Grantelba fight text. Um... I mean, any text, any text that gives you an option at the end of it kind of makes sense. There are people in chat saying Boggy is their boy. Can't take this away from me. Alright, so I'll go do Boggy. Yeah, we bullied him enough. I'll go do Boggy. I'll do it for the fans. <laughs> Yay, the power of chat. We can make the chat do anything we want. Well, I think it's and now. nothing can stop us. Okay, this flight pad thing here is just annoying. Oh, nothing it always else. has been. It's ever since I was Oh, I guess I'll, uh... Sh oh. What am I doing? Uh, I, I was just trying to get the... I, I was going to see if that was a GB or not. Alright. I'm going to go do this real quick. I'm at full health, right? I'm gonna show something off. Hopefully, I don't die to it. Um, that's happened before. You can collect uh, honeycombs from the snowballs. An infinite amount. Here, I'm just gonna get one more. Alright. Cool. Yeah, so I think that's there. No! Oh my gosh, that's never happened. Alright, so we gotta be... Okay, we got three. Uh, sure. We're good, we're good. Um, yeah, that's... That's how you click the next one, right? Sure, it's cold. Nice one backpack for me, too. Yeah, so this is a demonstration of the transformations being free. The, the sign says 15, um, but you'll see that the- Oh! Oh no! Oh no! He got the T-Rex! No, I got uh, Washies! Let's go! We got to show this off. Alright, so this happens sometimes. I think it's like a 10% chance. 
and uh, yeah, you just turn into a washing machine. It's really cool. Uh, that is actually in Banjo Tooie, if you didn't know. And there's also a cheat code to turn into that. So, yeah. Uh, but you'll notice that whenever the transformation was happening, the sign goes away. Uh, when the sign doesn't go away, you're, you know you're gonna get one of those like special events. Yeah. That's cool. I that think that... actually jumping in the water creates like lag both um, on emulator and console. Yeah, I play any percent, so <laughs> I don't really know the the uh, Walrus strats. I mean, I just started playing 100, percent but uh, but yeah, I haven't really done much. Dude, can I not get hit by the snowballs? Can you not, dude? Yeah, what the heck, dude? So these guys will actually nice music. I was expecting some like cheery music, but uh, yeah. Can we get more haze in the chat? Yeah, some more haze in the chat. <laughs> we can actually get some checks here that we we normally can't get without beak bomb. So uh, because they it deletes the snowmen or the sir slushes. So there's I think one check. It's gonna be coming out. Oh, I could could have got that note. Uh, well, we're not getting that then. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but Dude, it is check. Oh wait, there's a check. <laughs> just one note. You, like, you could like um usually what you can do is that uh, if right you don't have, oh and uh, it's a normal token that sucks. If you if you don't have big bomb, um you can do the race and then check some of the checks that come up like obviously the ones under the snowman uh, if you want. I don't. This one I haven't. Personally tried, but if you come back for the banjo kazooie one with the rain shoes, trying to see if you can, uh, you know, jump over to the witch switch and hit it. If you don't have big bomb, I don't know if that would actually work. I've never really tried it, but I thought of it at one point in my life. I want to mention real quick that uh, if you guys didn't see that the ticker was still there. Um, so what happens during that race is that it removes all of the enemies that are normally there. Um, but when an enemy is randomized, it doesn't actually remove that enemy. So sometimes you'll have like random, um, like tickers or, um, you know, big butts or whatever, just like, um, on the thing. And like, there's like weird interactions with the walrus when the walrus hits him during the race. Uh, I'm gonna go get this check, I think this could be random. I don't usually do this. Uh, this is not really in the meta, but I'll go check this. The meta. We have a meta, guys. Yeah. <laughs> a meta. How many more things do you think you'll roll on this one? Mm -hmm. So you'll notice that like the enemies uh, that are randomized take the size of the enemy that was originally there. Um, this enemy is typically uh, uh, pretty small, and sometimes we'll see like extremely small enemies. Um, I think my favorite one is the tiny. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can actually. This is a way of um, walrus uh, adventure. What, what is it? Re no, reverse no, walrus uh, adventure. You're about to hit the check for yeah. Reverse yeah, yeah, but adventure. like this was another area. Like, what's a, what's an example? Um, like gobies, I think. Or just a level that doesn't have a detransformation uh, barrier. Yeah, you can just go th into other levels. It's pretty cool. And we actually do also have a setting for uh, no detransformations in the lair. And we just did that this week for our uh, weekly settings in the Discord. Yeah, in the Discord we'll do uh, we'll vote like every uh, Friday, which I should probably make a thing for that. Um, <laughs> I always forget to. Uh, where we basically vote on what weekly settings we want, and last week's was uh, forward B adventure, which is as opposed to reverse B adventure, where we just start off as the B and try to collect things and then go fight Grantopa. I'm gonna be doing a uh, a quick diggy check here. Um, it's for the sarcophagus. Normally, you have to go in gobies and open it up, but you can just kind of squeeze through and get the jiggy. Uh, it, it can be a mumbo token since it's randomizer, so hopefully it's not. Uh, typically in the speedrun, uh, people, once they get on top of the sarcophagus, they roll into it, but if you just do a very low rat a tat tat, you'll get both no matter what. Man, it was a There you token. go. Rip. Alright. 
to BGS. BGS is a pretty good level. Um, you can pretty much... There's a lot... I don't... Well, right now it's, it's game shuffle, right? So, yeah. Um, but... There's a lot of jiggy... Actually, there's not a lot of jiggy checks normally, but... Oh, move. What are you doing in my swamp? Shout there's a lot trigger. of... Oh, and it's vanilla, is it? Waiting boots? Cool. That is All vanilla, right. yep. Yep. Vanilla. Uh, so, there is something special about this world and Goku's Valley. So, for this world in particular, there are no jiggies that uh, are just floating around. Like, they're all spawned through a um, an event. Um, normally, and then with the Gobi's Valley, there is no empty honeycomb that is floating around. There. Those are both spawned. Um, so we we always know going to these levels that we're guaranteed a certain number of jiggies as long as like, we have the moves. Um, in this case, uh, the move that we need for like I think eight jiggies is Beat Cluster, and then there's like uh, the yellow flibbits, which doesn't need a move in particular except for like attacking. And then, um, Mr. Vile, who just needs a transformation. Yep. Which I don't think you're doing Mr. Vile, are you? Probably not. Um, it's really slow. It's, it's actually one of the, the slowest minigames. I think it's actually the slowest minigame in the entire game. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. And it's, I mean, the, the well, I mean, well, it's randomizer, so it's, Randomize the the, uh, the song for it or the track, but uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna do it. It's too long. We gotta go fast. Eat the book. I get one there. Uh, nice three. waiting for the pad. I can do that. I forgot. Ooh, I actually didn't know you can make that jump. Yep. I've been just taking damage. Uh, uh, there are, again, like, features that aren't being showcased, um, so, uh, there's, like, model swaps that you can do, and, uh, we're not exactly sure how stable it is on EverDrive, um, but on Emulator, if you, like, want to play around with it, uh, you can swap the models of, like, from, like, the frogs, or, um, like, the animations, like, Banjo will throw, uh, eggs, kind of like Conga throws oranges, um, just want to throw it out there. I've not found uh, Croctus yet. Hopefully, it's not. They're not in a bad spot. I have to do this without gold feathers. We usually do this with gold feathers. Um, I don't have them, so unfortunately, I cannot do that. And <laughs> I don't want to die here, because and it's extremely laggy on M64. Oh my word! Yeah, these guys are annoying. Yeah, this fight is laggy on emulator and M64. No but I think even more laggy on N64. It's crazy. I love the woo spam in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you guys are all specifically using a W. Chat. Look, somebody's in trouble. Uh, what's the sound of like you completing a task? Is that um, opening up the door of Grand Chief? Uh, mm -hmm. I, you mean the? No, oh, yeah. I don't know. It's bum no, bum no. bum 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 bum. Yeah, actually, oh, I actually yeah. think that thing is because because uh, Jiggy up here is the other one whose name I forget. No. Wait, are you actually doing this, uh, Jiggy? Nope, there is a uh, spawn up here that could be a Jiggy's, and it is. And I missed the podium, so I'll have to watch it again. <laughs> there actually is a fast strat for this. Um, typically in the speedrun, if you jump into Tip Tuck while he's explaining and then jump into him again, you can move during the cutscene, and you can technically get the Jiggy that way. Yeah, I know about that, I just don't know how to do it. Again, any percent runner. And we have to listen to it again. Lovely cutscene. Shout out to the other Diddy Kong Racing um, <laughs> racer right now. Boom. Yeah, I think the the Woo is from uh, that's playing after we collect a Jiggy. That's from uh, 
Grunny, right? That's when Giginator's like gonna strike her or something. I believe it's Giginator, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna use boots. I wanna save some uh, some health here. Nice purple boots made for walking. That's just what they'll do. Yep. So gonna try to get back up here and just unequip the boots and then get back in the boots. Yeah, fun fact, you can uh, get rid of the boots by pressing B. I didn't know that before running this game, so cool uh, thing you can do. Hat wearing gamer also found a little nice trick with the running shoes, if he knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, um, so ordinarily this would go over your head in the vanilla game because it would never come up, but if you don't have talent shot, but you have the running shoes, you can collect the running shoes and um, if you keep Z held down and you either press B or let the shoes run out, uh, you'll actually maintain talent shot. And it can actually be um, used uh, to climb some slopes early. Um, there no. was a C, well, long before, long before I had logic, well, long, long before we had uh, um, significant or strong logic uh, in the uh, randomizer, I actually did encounter a series seed where there was no way to proceed on the part or none that I could find it. Uh, that unless I used uh, that trick in order to climb the hill, the big hill before um, Bubble Loop Swamp. I gotta say that I really, really enjoyed that scene. So uh, was there a cheeky... That Jiggy doesn't always lead to death, but it usually leads to death. Yeah, I think you can survive it with, like, full health, but, uh, no, not in BGS. I'm good. Uh, maybe just do the one last or something. Yeah, I'm thinking about if I, if I have the chance to do RBA, then I'll do it then. But we'll see. Oh my gosh, is this all six j- oh, no, it's just- almost. Uh, this world, uh, has a lot of, uh, notes that are just on the side. Um, you can become the crocodile, or, uh, use the boots, or you can actually use Wondering if you don't have either. Um, to avoid the damage in the bottoms. There are a lot of like little neat ways to like um, beat each task without having the um, obvious move, I would say. <laughs> and some enemies become harder because you don't have access to Wonder Wing. Yep. Come on, get a good cycle. <laughs> Dude, if you spin why you the stand still? Five times in a row, it's good luck. <laughs> yeah. It's like hell is real. The top, uh, if you spin around the cop five times in a row, it becomes real and then attacks you. Uh, run around the cop just five times while saying Jiggy Wiggy special. Um, and the Jiggy Wiggy will bless you for your run. But if it's not like early in the run, it might, might not be worth it. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna get those. Alright, Teehee went out of the way. Maybe we can get a quick uh, egg in. So we didn't see it during this round, um, but some, like, again, like the eggs can be considered kind of like objects. Uh, if like There's like a, a low chance, but it, it, we've seen it before, where three Jinjos stack on top of each other. Um, our favorite thing to do is to collect the other two Jinjos and then those three so that you see all three of them spinning and then you uh, get the Jiggy to fall down as well so it's just a bunch of pretty colors. So good. Mm. Go Shout to the lamb music coming in on the boots. Although it kind of makes you sad because then like... You don't, hear, you don't hear this rendition which is a good rendition. It's got, it's got all wins in it. Uh, there are actually a lot of different, um, uh, Gruntilla Lair themes, um, and they all have, like, different channels, like, for example, when you're in the, uh, first floor and you go near Mumbo's Mound, it'll play a different rendition there, uh, near Gobi's Valley, a different rendition there, so, like, um, you might hear Gobi's Valley a lot, it's not like Gobi's Valley, it's like, uh, the Gruntilla's Lair a lot, um, but there's, like, little subtle differences, ah, and the 69, nice. Um, there's little subtle differences um, with each of the I knew that tracks. Oh, nice. <laughs> I sometimes like it when I get like a different rend Like if I go into the lair, 
the music that plays in whichever section I'm in is actually a different, originally a different, so, like a different part of the way. And then you go near a world, and then it morphs into a completely different world, and it's kind of funny. I could have. Oh, he didn't even go for the the jiggy at the top. So. No. All right, we're moving on. You yeah, normally in a uh, casual playthrough, you'd go to Freeze's Peak first before Goli's Valley. Um, but in randomizer, you just do it however you feel like. Burp, burp, burp. Oh, I I think I just need Beak Bomb. I think that's the only move I need to beat the game. Oh, and CCW. Okay, that's that's really cool. So then I can go do RBA. Uh, so for anyone who doesn't know what RBA is, could you explain it? Oh yeah, uh, so it stands for Reverse Speed Adventure, and it basically, you can uh, go through the lair. Uh, usually, it's called Reverse Speed Adventure because you do it in Clock Clock Wood, and you escape through the lair, and you can go in any level and collect jiggies, anything, it won't crash. It's really cool. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get to show that off. Why am I going in here? I need to go in MMM. I didn't want to go in Clock Clock Wood because it's slow. But yeah, you can just take the B into levels, and it's uh, it's really fun. You can clip through stuff. I I'll, I can maybe show off a couple things with it, but uh, so we'll good. just have to see. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, the B is pretty broken in that um, its collision is basically meant for click clock wood and not for other levels. And so there are some walls that are just like like, like for example, like the gate that usually holds H to B in the lair. It's just a suggestion to the bee, because the bee can just go through it. So, this also means that I don't have to raise the water level. I can go get the bee, and I can go get the pot above. Uh, granny. Actually, I did not activate the pot, um, in the, uh, next to Clankers. You can activate that as the bee. Well, yeah, but I just didn't activate it. I got it. Mm -hmm. I gotta activate it still. I somehow find this music creepier for <laughs> this level than the default music. I'm hoping we find uh, a move in here. Because it's Boggy really cool. Igloo Sad, I believe. I was hoping this was a real combo Nope. Nope. Oh, and this is Advent. This is a beta track that was not released in the game. And it was a ginger. That sucks. I yeah, this that's in there. So yeah. Uh we don't have the setting on, but uh we do have within World of Warps as like an option for the randomizer. And this is one of the worlds that has a ton of warp. This and Rusty Bucket Bay. Um and sometimes it's a little confusing with how many windows and doors there are. It's jiggy. What's our jiggy count so far? I'll just do a quick pause. Ready for it. Right. So we're about halfway. Yeah. A little more than that. Shout out to Grand Coco. Should I do Tumblr? I don't like Tumblr, but I'll do it. Probably should have done the 100% strat for it. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm not very good at Tumblr, guys, so, uh. And don't hit me. And you hit me. We're listening to the, uh, Gruntilda Under a Rock music right now. Oh, come on. There we go. So, uh, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, Storm doesn't do 100%, um, so he's going in a yeah. very weird pattern for, for this. Yeah, we skip a lot of things. We, we use, uh, I, th I think like about 50% of the run we use RBA, so, uh, yeah. Oh, we don't do this. Am I gonna lose? Where's You're that? not gonna lose. Go to the top. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Again, any percent runner. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is done in like at least 40 seconds. With 40 seconds left on the timer. But, uh, you know, 
That's why I usually don't do it in rando. Because I'm just slow at it. But we'll do it for the meme, you know? Oh, so annoying. What a meme. Um, there are some, like, uh, funny interactions in uh, Mad Monster Mansion. Um, for example, if you do decide to uh, randomize uh, Tumblr's uh, Jiggy, sometimes you can just poke your head through Tumblr and get collect whatever's actually there. So, like, when it's a token, you just, like, shoot an egg in there. Or sometimes you don't have to shoot an egg. You can just, like, kind of, like, fin uh, finagle your way in there. Um, Napper is also weird in that uh, he will place himself on top of whatever Jiggy's in the room. Um, so if you like do um, allow soft locks, you can put a Jiggy uh, on the fireplace, and he'll actually show up on the fireplace instead of uh, on like the table like normally is. Oh. Oh, here's the vent. All right. This is what it looks like. This is a good example of it. Yeah, and he, the vent spits out uh, air like about every one or two seconds. Do you mean Faneggy? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what route I'm doing right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. We're just kind of going with it. Yeah. <laughs> What do you mean? This is this is the strat that all the pros do. Yeah, this is this is the wrong guys. This is the new strat. This is uh we're reinventing, uh you know, innovative. <laughs> we're reinventing innovative. Right. It's just really hard to come up with like a route because there are so many settings for the randomizer that uh. Like, if you change, like, one thing, it changes the route. Like, if you turn off the transformations, uh, all of a sudden, like, you have access to the bee everywhere, um, and, like, the world order can also change. So, it's just really hard to come up with a route because of all these, like, little changes. Oh, I think sometimes you can get that Jinjo while, like, flying up there, like, in the initial, like, uh, animation. But not today. Not today. I always get like soft locked in this room as the B. Yeah, this is like, yeah, you can't get out without, yeah. Without dying, yeah. Without dying, yeah. I think on PAL you can clip out, but um, yeah. On ran in randomizer you can. And this is a horrible room. Oh my <laughs> Oh! Oh! <laughs> bye bye! Oh, uh, Rippers or Clippers, am I right? I don't know. Oh, Clockers. They're called Big Clockers. No, I meant the Those Ripper who slipped through the floor. Oh, no mind. Big Clipper, yes. <laughs> um, the, uh, the. Uh, portrait chompas are good examples of like enemy scaling so like normally those guys are like really small models and they're enlarged for the game and when they get replaced with a um clucker or a chompa those things end up just being really big um oh look a move a move all right big bomb oh my god no 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 Yay. no no what I... oh, did i just get soft lock oh my no, gosh no, 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 i thought i did no. <laughs> Yeah, there's the thing where you can soft lock with a B. Thought I got it, but no, I didn't. Uh, good thing bottles uh, gives you some health. Uh, I think I forgot to check over here. Oh my lord. Imagine having a Wonder Wing and not using it. I have Wonder Wing? No, Whoa, I don't. What the heck? You just learned Wonder Wing. What? I thought I learned. Oh my gosh. I'm just so tired, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Threw aim for me. Yeah, um, Storm and I are in, uh, America, so it's, like, early morning for us, and then Hat Wearing Gamer is in Australia, yeah. so it's, like, night for him. Yeah, I'm the one that, though, that said that my sleeping pattern's starting to catch up to me, I'm really, really drowsy. Uh, I'm gonna go over to church. Uh, Usually there's no, a I get it. I'll carry this. What's yeah, up? Usually there's a strat where you can uh, jump off a beehive to get into this 
area early. Oh, nice Jiggy. But uh, it just didn't spawn there. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, you know, just didn't spawn that time. I'd say it's pretty uh, rare because um, of how many enemies. Uh -huh. Ah! Um, oh uh, my god. Nice shrapnel. You can actually hear the shrapnels like below you, and the uh, shrapnels are interesting in that uh, they go either to uh, water level um, or they go to y equals zero. And I think uh, I just forgot to go on a room. Uh, there's a room over here that you can get a move in potentially, and there's a ton of stuff in there. It's this room right here. Yeah, normally this room isn't seen because it's full of like eggs and gold feathers and red feathers. But in Rando, we go into this room because we also have um, uh, a Jinjo and notes and stuff. Oh wow, after hearing the music that played in the bonus room, I can't wait till you actually explore the main church building. And if I don't find running shoes in here, I'm gonna show off something that's cool. Really cool. Really so cool. I don't know why I'm doing this, but uh, I just hate this. Now that anymore. you know that you have one ring, you're just gonna keep using one ring. I mean, yeah. so the, in Rando, like, one, uh, gold feathers are just everywhere because uh, normally they're in like really weird, awkward spots, but in Rando, they're like just where like notes and feathers would be. Um, so, like, you can be more liber liberal. Is that the word? With your usage? Uh, I'm gonna say the word liberal as if I was right. Heavy Wish Shadows is asking how cool. Crack is saying, um, my eye sockets hurt, but the woo keeps me alive. Yep. Can I get this please? There we go. Don't usually do it in that order. And cool, vanilla jiggy. Well, you say vanilla jiggy, so like, even though a jiggy's in that location, it might not actually be that jig, uh, jiggy that's normally there. Yeah. Um, hoping to one day have it so the totals actually tell you the correct number of jiggies you collected in the level. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna go through these windows and just check what's up, you know. Say hi to Lago. Hi, so Lago. If you, hi, Lago. The uh, uh, rando is currently uh, coded in Python, um, but the decomp for the rando, I think, is a like. No, 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 for the rando, wow. For the base game, is our, I think it's around like 80%. It might be like 79 or something like that. Um, and that's programmed in C. So um, potentially, if there's any developers watching this who know C and want to try to work on a rando um big bomb all right there we go hey now i actually read the text <laughs> good no. job it's gonna i don't think yeah it's just talking. i think it shines there if it's a jiggy and nice ripper um i'm missing a jinjo right I think it's in church. Uh, should I? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Okay, it's a mumble token. I'm gonna go open church. Um, usually you're supposed to have running shoes here, but I'm gonna do a strat. I actually have never done this before, so <laughs> let's let's see if we can get it. And I already failed it. I think. <laughs> it's fine. You can still technically make it. Um. This game has something called pause buffering, and uh, basically what it does is it stalls the timer so that you can um, get into areas. There's like a few instances where it doesn't work, um, but for most timers, you can just pause and unpause, and it'll give you a little more time to get where you need to. Oh, nice, yeah. nice B. It's especially useful in. Um... For a second, I actually thought the B was old King Cole from Banjo Two. Um, Cameo. <laughs> that's not a bee though. That's a that's a scabby. It's a beetle. Well, scabby, whatever. Point is, it looked like old King Carl. 
What, did you mention uh, how fly pads can be active and certain pads yeah. can be? Okay, cool. Yeah. I do yeah. believe the one in the church is active at all times. The yeah. church and uh, nappers are actually always both active. Oh, uh, we didn't randomize. Is there... What's up? Is the one in nappers right now? Yes. Yeah. I'm just gonna swap and say, oh, active? I thought it was so. Oh, no. No, 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 it is. That's right. Oh um, we, we did randomize uh, Motan's uh, song, uh, or like the key yeah. he plays. Uh, not sure if Storm's gonna do it, but I can do it. I just I usually I don't, but let's doubts. do it. Yeah, I gotta go up here. for the fancies. For the fans, let's do it. Oh my gosh, can you get on the platform? You got it. You got, it's fine. <laughs> uh, you don't have to get up there. You just have to like get high enough for him to see you. Yeah. So, uh, normally speedrunners would memorize this pattern and then play the notes before um, Motan like, even finishes. Um, but because this is randomized, he actually has to do the vanilla strat and wait for him to play the notes one by one. Yep. Unfortunate. Speedruns, or speedrunner's worst nightmare. Boy, but it's cool. Uh, I I actually really like watching speedrunners play the rando for the first time because they're very used to the route and sometimes they don't even know stuff about base game. Um, so like a casual will know a strat, but like a speedrunner would be like, I don't know how to do this because it's not in the speedrun. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes occurs. I know uh, some, some uh, I think 100% FFM runners didn't know about the uh, snowball honeycomb thing in Freezy Peak. Um, but yeah, once they, I think, I forgot who, who ran the rando, but, yeah, they figured it, oh, wrong key. But yeah, it was cool that they figured that out, but, uh, yeah, that's just an example. Yeah, these notes can be randomized, uh, the, uh, Rusty Bucket Bay code can be randomized, um, the matching puzzle in Gobi's Valley can be randomized, uh, the Croc Disorder... Uh, what else can be randomized? Uh, the Rings and Clankers Cavern. But don't do it. It's annoying. <laughs> that ripper. He says, he, he says it's annoying because he's bad. Oh, You're I, sh I should have skipped the jig. I totally forgot that there's a fly pad in here. But whatever. <laughs> I think yeah, I can... So typically oh. in the um, vanilla game, uh, the notes are like within like seven keys away from each other or something like that. It's like pretty close by. Um, but all the uh, notes are like usable. So you can just like make whatever combination. And I'm still waiting for a time where the combination is literally the, the, the key on the very, very left. Oh! oh. No. Fall damage cancel? Not die. Fall damage cancel? What? Huh? We take those? Can can somebody clip that, please? I, that, that, I, that's I'd new. appreciate I would appreciate that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that is that's new. I don't think there's really yes. anything up there other than yeah. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna get these and go. That I've never seen that before. Yeah, usually if you collect a jiggy in the air, like that, um, you die. I don't know, maybe maybe it has something to do with it being the eleventh jiggy? I, I have no idea. Yeah, that's really weird. Yeah. I wanna say that maybe you slid while collecting it and then you were doing like the jump animation as you were falling, but I don't know, so if someone yeah. can that'd be great. We're gonna have to put that in the speedrunning Discord, um. Somebody might one of the game engineers will probably know. Um, uh, not sure how applicable it'll be to an actual run, but uh, yeah, for random but... purposes, that's pretty pretty neat. I don't know. Oh, yeah, this gate. <laughs> oh, Again. jump pad. Oh, jump There's pad? Jump Ooh, pad. strats. Yeah. See, I don't even know these strats. An example, right there. Um. So, I'm gonna go get these, and then go in the well and die. And we don't have to open up a water level, so that's great. Uh, oh yeah. Usually I go the other way with the notes on the edges of those. Um, but let's go in. I 
appreciate the clip. Thank you. Yep, thanks for the clip, guys. Yo. Uh, nope. What they said. And I'm gonna just accidentally die in here, probably. Whatever. We got enough notes. Yeah, usually <laughs> you're in a speedrun. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, usually you come in here with the pumpkin. Uh, I'm not doing it because nobody likes the pumpkin. Sorry. I like the pumpkin. I don't like the pumpkin. <laughs> Pumpkin's so bad. He goes, wee, wee. <laughs> the only good transformation in the game is the bee. Nobody can argue. Nobody can dispute. I like the crocodile because he can wear shoes. Yeah, but the bee can fly. Bee's but broken. can the bee wear shoes? No, yeah, you're right. I mean, if it tries, yeah, you're right. The crocodile can also attack. Can the bee attack in Kazooie? In Tui, it can. Uh, th what did I say? Oh, did you say that? I didn't hit you. Okay. I said specifically in Kazooie. He did say that. He oh. did say that. The bee can fly. The bee was so good. Bad. It's in. It's in Tui. Yeah. I got all the moves right. I'm gonna RBA now. Cool. All right. So I'm gonna show off RBA. Um, obviously, it's not the way that you do it in a speedrun. There's a. There's like. Four, maybe, I think four different mes methods of clipping out of bounds in the Clip Hawk Wood Lobby. Um, so yeah. Four? Four? Yeah, I think Pal oh, Clip, I guess... 765, Cauldron RBA, and Boob Clip. And... Uh, I wouldn't say the Cauldron is a clip, but I understand. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's not a clip, but it's a way of RBA. Xbox used to do that. For the longest time in a speedrun, but uh, I'm out of might have found something on the Nintendo Switch version of the game that I'd opened up about a minute. I'm not gonna brag, but you know, but I am bragging. Yeah, no, no big deal. Just made it yeah, no big deal. It. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do much in here. I might just like RBA a few notes. Let me. Oh wait, I can't even check my. I have to go on my total screen. I'm gonna do that right when I hit this. You might even be over. I haven't been paying attention. Okay, yeah, we we can RBA. I mean, you can technically RBA like with the uh, note count anyway, because the, the B can collect notes. Yeah. Uh, I guess while we have a little bit of time, I do want to shout out to the uh, Banjo Kazooie modding community called Banjo's Backpack. Um, a lot of this could not have been done. Actually, a majority of this could not have been done without the information they either collected or tools that were created. Um, the uh, main tool being Banjo's Backpack um, for a lot of like the uh, information and like scouting and stuff. So, big shout outs to those guys. Yeah, big shout outs. Uh, I'm just checking for Jiggies right now. Uh, I think there's one that spawns in cabinets. Or a possible spawn. Uh, and it was Honeycomb. <laughs> nice. Uh, for oh, the <laughs> nice. Uh, ice oh my gosh. Nice that? warp. Um, <laughs> and there's for... a possibility. Oh, not there. For the rando, you can set Click Clock Wood to shuffle either by seasons or by, within like the entire world. Um, however, if you do like shuffle by game, for example, how we did it with the Jiggies tokens and uh, honeycombs, uh, it does overwrite the setting for the um, for the Click Clock Wood. So everything else is, I believe, shuffled by season except for those guys. Also, if you guys didn't know, if you hold B while uh, using the B, fun pun, but uh, you go faster. Not, ma not that many people know that. Also, I didn't also mention this. If you hold R, uh, steering is just a lot better in this game. I'm also going to try to do a trick here that allows me to clip through. Um, I don't know why it's not working. It's really easy. <laughs> um, okay, um, I'm just going to try to do it again. Hold on. <laughs> I actually, this is one of the things I rediscovered. Apparently, it was known, but can I clip through? What? This has never happened. What? Um, I'm gonna give this a couple more attempts. Usually, you just clip right through. 
I don't even I don't know if it's like based on the enemy lag. Because on emulator, I don't think you can do this. Uh, I... There we go. Oh, okay. there we go. Hey. All right. So this allows me to get into this room right over here. Uh, it's usually blocked by a door. But I'm just going to go snoop around in, in here real quick. Um, and then I'm just going to... Okay, nothing. Well, that sucks. <laughs> nice. Blue glitch, though. I want to show that off. You can first go out of bounds, too, with the, with the tree. Yeah, first try. <laughs> Alright, I gotta be careful here. Oh, so this is FP exit, so I have to go above. Alright. There is a detail information, like, below me, but I can just go above here, and, yeah, you're good. You can just, yeah, fly through. Also, I think I got this... I think I acted this Shiggy, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get this. You can kinda just... The bee has a really large nose, if I can get it. Sorry, I don't usually do this, this setup. Um, go down. Come on. Come on. Get the Jiggy. You know you want it. Come on. <laughs> Get down. Come Staring on. Staring right at it. Come on. I don't know why these aren't working. <laughs> Please don't this one is cursed. In, uh, in Grunty Eye Jail. There we go. There All you right. go. Alright. Oh. And nice camera. Nice camera. I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna go get that Mumbo's Mountain uh, jiggy that's in the lair. Uh, the bee Still. has two kind of sets of cameras. Um, there's a camera that like typically follows you when you're flying and then there's a like on the floor camera i uh, usually call that like camera triggers so whenever you're flying at, like the meat and the camera's really weird if you just land uh, it normally fixes the camera where am i going all right where are you going i don't know where Good i'm question. going I'm where is anyone so going oh yeah some just uh ceilings don't exist uh, you can just fly right through them you can see the cauldron early just want to show that off real quick uh, some rooms do have ceilings. I don't know why. Some do, some don't. It's just, you know, that's just how it is. Oh, and friendly crap. That's going to suck for you later. <laughs> yeah. I got to be careful here. There's a GP transformation trigger, but I can just fly right over it. If I just keep doing that. Yep. Hey, nice. All right, cool. I got it. And I don't like this camera, so I'm going to do this. All right, there we go. And I'm just going to be careful here. You just kind of just spam up here and you usually come on come on there we go all right hey we're good <laughs> also uh if you remember from early in the run i skipped that uh learning how to open note doors um for some reason yeah you can just skip it as the b it doesn't play the the cutscene. oh yeah i didn't uh i'm gonna go back so what do you mean now. you you skipped it but like you played it so i think the trigger no no it doesn't uh it doesn't actually uh save it being played oh you, okay. you'll see you'll see at the end of the run uh yeah it's just i'm gonna i don't know what i'm doing here i'm uh, just i'm gonna get this i don't know why i'm doing that but you know i'm just gonna get it uh yeah so that that that's uh fast travel that i can I do that. I mean, I didn't really have to do that. I could have just went in there as Banjo. Probably would have been faster, but whatever. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go check what's in RBB and Click Lock Wood. Usually, their uh, level entrance locations. Uh, let me just. Oh yeah. Also, uh, you can like get this with the B2. Usually, we do that in a uh, hundred percent. That's how we do it. We don't usually do it the um normal Banjo way. Oh yeah, there's no. That's also a thing. You kind of, kind of just can't go without loading zone if you're too high. Um, yeah. So, alright, cool. We're gonna go check what the RBB is. I'm guessing it's what the we haven't been in Gobies and what what else? Um, I'm just gonna think. I'm gonna say it's Gobies. But be, oh yeah, and Clankers. Clankers is actually a really good level with the B. It's really slow with Banjo, but you can do it pretty fast. You can get some checks. Uh, like, you can't really do like, um, I guess you can, if you clip out, can you clip out as, as, as the B inside Clanker? Oh uh, yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah, they do that on Xbox. Oh, there's a move. That's probably running shoes. Um, I'm gonna, I think I just need like 55 notes, so I'm just gonna get like 25 here, 25 in Clankers. A little bit extra, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm just gonna do some quick checks here. Is it jiggy? No. Alright. Sometimes it can be a jiggy. 
also uh with gobies you kind of can just uh walk <laughs> under this but let me get these actually first come on oh my gosh imagine having to fly for that note as me would be molding right now that i can't get shout outs to the world record holder as me yeah. um i <laughs> believe he holds it for 100 percent uh ffm and no ffm no not anymore no uh, i think uh ploth has that now for no ffm oh yeah that's the ploth yep but he has pretty much every world record in every major category so except for one so uh any new runners out there want to beat him please do so yeah he's not that good he's just yeah, he's just, uh, you can just beat him. Also, a really nice guy, he has, um, on his, uh, Twitch channel, he has, like, redemption points for, uh, he can, like, analyze your run and tell you, like, little time saves, and his time saves add up. <laughs> yeah, insane. Uh, okay, I don't know why I went for this, but I'm just gonna get these nuts. Just a heads up, we are at the 1 hour and 33 minute mark. Alright, cool. I'm gonna do this strat, hopefully I... Okay, I did not get it, because I'm on the right side. I'm gonna get these notes actually though. You can kind of just clip out of bounds here. If I can get it, I've never failed that in my life. <laughs> just oh in time for the marathon. Just yeah. in time for the marathon. Yeah, we got time. We got time to waste. Whatever. It's there. We go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't can, say that. that you can <laughs> warp into the. Uh, can warp into the uh, into the secret rare area. Uh, you probably could. Yeah, you can. Yeah. There's actually sometimes you can fail that and just fall through the loading zone. It's kind of funny. I'm gonna get like five more notes and then we can. I'm gonna go check what's up here. Alright, just a combo token. Yeah. Both combo tokens, unfortunately. How many jiggies do we have? I'm gonna check. Uh, I'll look at the check it. Yeah. We need 13. Uh, I think I. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. Nice. Nice. Uh, he made it look pretty easy, um, but uh, it's really tight. The first time a grab a pop uh, pops up, um, uh, it, there's like a like a there's a bigger t window for you to actually grab that jiggy. If you were to miss that, grabbing it afterwards would be pretty hard to beat. Just quick. Good job chance. on him. All right. Also, you can kind of hear another track in the background. It's very faint. That's just a glitch uh, that happens. And I think it's actually the sound for the running shoes. But we're not gonna get the running shoes, so yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so whenever yeah, you yeah. grab a, grab a Jiggy, I guess the developers expected you to grab it with the um, running shoes. Um, because when you collect it in flight or as the B, uh, the track for the running shoe starts playing. Yeah. I think that's every mumbo token check. I mean, we could uh, lower the, you know what, let's do it. We have time, let's, let's just get stuff. I shouldn't have told him how much time he has left. Yeah. <laughs> you got a whole hour. Yeah, let's just let's just mess around, guys. Let's just have some fun. Uh, there are some like neat tricks that like are way easier to do in Rando, and while we have the B, we can show off those tricks. Yeah. Uh, shoutouts to uh, Chronic Keys for finding a lot of the uh, glitches. Uh, oh, did you just softlock yourself, dude? Nope. You can go up here. Nice. Yep. Oh yeah, uh, if you're nice underwater, music. if you go underwater like a little bit lower than like the dive length, um, you can just like totally skip like swimming. Or I guess with banjo or with the bee, it's like just flying. Like if you touch water as the bee, you just start like flying. It's kind of, kind of sucks, but yeah, you can just do that and... Skip, uh, skip having the soft lock, I guess. Oh yeah, this loading zone sucks too. There we go. Um, so yeah, that. I guess we could go in matching puzzle. 
There's one ch mumbo token in there, so let's go do that. Cool. That <laughs> was easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a yeah. That's a cool way of doing it. But usually you have to collect the notes there in a speed run, so you can't usually do that, unfortunately. Sometimes I miss this. Uh, I'm... Nope. All right. Cool. And it's my little token. Rip. I think that's everything that we can do here. Um, let's just keep going. Let's go see what Clockwork Wood is. Again, we have to uh, do this trap where you go into the water so we don't. Um, there's Cheeto's room. You can actually soft walk behind Cheeto. Shoutouts to Pixel Weezy. <laughs> Very talented. Oh yeah, there's the beehive just not caring about gravity. Yeah. I don't know why it would care about gravity. Oh wait. I can't even... Nice! I can't even get in this level with B. <laughs> Sorry, I just played this the, the G-Transformation thing like a couple days ago. I'm not used to it. But we can still do clankers. That's unfortunate. And you can activate the cauldron. Yeah, I I mean, do I have enough? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I'm, I can just go finish the game unless you want me to do more stuff. Uh, um, how many jiggies are here? Uh, I think I have like. You yeah. have forty nine, right? Something like that, yeah. Forty nine. So you're yeah. banking on eleven jiggies being here. Oh, is it? I thought it's fifty five, right? Uh, it's no, it's five fifty nuts. Oh. You're the one who created the settings. Oh yeah. <laughs> Again, it's three. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, there might be 11 jiggies here, um, but I do recommend uh, the cauldron. Um, it's it's 550. It's 550 notes. Yeah, okay. I don't know why you always mix that up. I mix that up. I was doing a 35 400 one time and I accidentally collected 450. So uh, yeah, I'm just like that. You know. Instead, you thought it was 55 jiggies and six notes. Definitely it. Yeah. Clinkers can be scary, um, obviously you can drown, but, uh, I'm, I'm decent at the game, so hopefully that won't happen. He's alright. Yeah, I'm alright at the game. I think the key's over here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have not ran Banjo in a while. And I'm gonna go get Gloop right now, cause I am kind of monk s Imagine right now. dying in Clinker's Cavern. Alright, hey, we're fine. This is fine. <laughs> Everything's fine, guys, don't worry. Who was worried? I wasn't worried. Yeah. I have faith in the guy who plays this game decently. Yep. Is there a Jinjo behind that? I didn't show it. <laughs> uh, just... did you hear a help? I don't know. Let me hear. Let, let's see. Does it do it right now? No. Just go check not. anyway. Um, do, do you need any more notes? Uh, I think I need like... I need 25-ish in this level. So I'm just gonna get these. Oh, I guess I should mention that, um... Oh, can you guys hear music for underwater? I can't hear any music. I can't. Yeah, so, um... The game works in something called channels, and so, uh, like, whenever the songs get randomized, if it doesn't have an underwater portion, uh, whenever it, like, shuffles somewhere else and you go underwater, there might not actually be music playing. But there will be as soon as he pops out of the water. And then I'm gonna go right back into it. So no more music. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we hope you enjoy the ASMR. Of our voice. <laughs> By the way, Jinjo. Usually Jinjo isn't there, so I'm, I'm glad it is. It's good to know. I always mistake this porthole for another one. Uh, I think it's this the is one a very forgotten. One. This is a very forgotten pipe because there's normally a token in there, and it's kind of out of the way, and so it's just not in the run. 
Yeah. Nobody likes it. You usually go for it. I don't know why I jumped that yeah. way. I'm yeah, probably just gonna miss the cycle now. Or, or just... you won't because you're a baller. I'm a baller. You done did it. Yeah, uh, Clanker operates on a cycle. Basically just a, a timer where he goes up and down, shoots out the porthole. All of that's just on like a timer. And uh, in Rando, obviously we can't really find a consistent way to get past uh, or going getting to certain like the porthole, for example, in a certain amount of time. So you're just gonna have to wait in some circumstances, and you don't really want to do that in a speedrun. So yeah, I don't so think so. These I'm... rings can be randomized, but I think for marathon purposes, we decided to have them vanilla. Yeah. And, uh, they are, they, they can be pretty hard, um, you can go back and forth, there's no logic to be like, oh yeah, you can do this, like, normally on time, because, like, the timing on emulator and Everdrive is different, so, um, there's no consistency of fucking times for that. 19? Or 18? Ah, uh, 18. Yeah, like, I think a really good time for that is a 21, but, uh, 21? again, 80% runner. <laughs> I don't think you can... No, you can't. You can't it's too skip high. that, nah. Rip. I mean, you could skip it with flight, but... Nah, I'm gonna get out of here now. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, you're gonna go in this one. Uh, the other one has the Jinjo. Yeah, I'm gonna... I have a route. I'm gonna go over there soon. Okay, sure. No worries. Yep. Oh, it's Snackers theme playing. Yep. <laughs> That's weird that Snackers seem to doesn't have like an underwater port because it's it's in water. I think it's because I think it's because in vanilla port doesn't change when you dive under, so it's just the one version. Ah Alright, that makes sense. And I didn't get the B press. Couldn't peck there. I'm just gonna have to I think I'm good on yeah, that, that notes now. I'll just get a few extra just in case, but... I'm jiggy up here. <laughs> the entire chest is full of... Yeah. Uh, you might actually get 11 biggies here. Actually, no, sorry, the totals is messed up, my bad. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you actually have 9. Is this a double ginger? It better not be. I'm not here for it. No. Good. I'm not very good at it. There's a trick where you can uh, do a backflip and you won't fall. But um, It's called BZA, where you press oh. BZ and A. See, that's an They're example very... of a vent being bad. We don't like the vents. We, we like them when they're they're visible. And there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> well, typically if you don't see an enemy there that normally has an enemy, it's either a collector or a vent. And if you just jump over like the height of a vent and peck, you will get both situations. I think I, you might have spoiled where the last Jinjo is, so uh, that's cool. No, well, that's just the typical Jinjo location. Oh, okay. Like, that's in vanilla. Go? Supposedly 10. Supposedly. But no. Damn, the Jiggies here are really good. Flankers is stacked. <laughs> it's the last world. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I'm supposed to go in Clanker's pipe. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm trying to follow the 100% route, and I'm just failing miserably in this run. And the run gets even more complicated when there's uh, within world warps. Yeah. You can't really do a route with that. Just kind of gotta, you know, just do it. Gotta, you gotta do it in a way where it works. Quote of the century right there. Oh. 
It's gonna try to be a boss here and not get hit. Yeah. Nice. That was really quick. Yeah. How many jiggies are you at? I can't pause. Oh yeah, you can just kind of be bonked with this guy. I don't need that. Oh yeah, you can you you kind of can just go on this seam and you don't get hit. There's no hitbox for the fan bleeds there. So oh well, I kind of missed. Well, if you <laughs> you know if you're good. Oh uh, yeah, no, uh, glad you didn't get hit by any uh, fan blades yeah. at all. No one saw that. Yeah. There's not 190 people in chat right now. Yeah. My bad, guys. Oh, nice ripper. You're gonna be a bully ripper. You know why I wouldn't be? Well, they make you those rip rest in pieces. <laughs> that lane gamer sounds so tired. Yeah. Uh huh. I think my sleep has caught up with me. Or my lack of sleep, if anything. So I really just feel like zonking off right now. I wanted to That's check what this is. Oh. Is that Jiggy? Okay. That Dude, was like this, a Jiggy. Yeah. this level is stacked, I swear. Did you check the honeycomb pipe? Uh, the honeycomb pipe? No, I'd, I'll do that with the death swarm. Oh, I guess I, I should mention like why what I'm saying is no longer spoilers. I didn't actually do Clinker's Cavern. I oh, went okay. in here to see if it would uh, break. I so it and it didn't. And so I'm like, all right, cool, done. I don't care. <laughs> I think I even mentioned how uh. I died in VGS, like, multiple times. Awesome. Yeah. I think there's one more here. Two more. Nice hit. Yeah, this is for, uh, mini tickets. Don't die. Come on, you're good at the game. <laughs> Remember that. Yeah, chat's like, don't worry about how many people are watching you silently, si silently judging it in a long pool of dot dot dots. Nice loud music. Very fitting. Uh, yeah, the music. Do you have, uh... Storm, how many jiggies do you have? Oh, uh, 59. Okay. Oh, so oh, you can more. just death warp and get this last one, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. You got notes? I wasn't sure about that. Uh, I think yeah. he has notes. Yeah, I got like 60 in this world. <laughs> I got way more than I was supposed to. Nice. Yeah, I think he needed 50 when he was in Gobies, and he collected stuff there too, so... Alright, so, I'm gonna do the strat where you kinda just don't look at the clanker, because he's a waggy, laggy boy. So, uh, how's it going, chat? Um, how's your guys' <laughs> night? Or evening? Or day. Yeah. Every day in the... Yeah, I kinda just... Usually, you get the honeycomb, and that wastes some time, but, uh... Yeah, we're just gonna have to wait to drown. I mean, you could go get it if you wanted it. Gonna have to wait to, to drown. Yeah. <laughs> Happy music for dying. Happy <laughs> music. Congratulations, you're so, dead. It's so good. All right. And now yeah. you don't need the cauldron, right? Because then you have. Six, yeah, I'll press pause for a second just to show everyone that you have a uh, sixty. Sixty. And, yeah. Yep. I think we have time, right? I can do dog skip. Uh, or you door can try, bunny yeah. skip. Yeah. Uh, how many lives do you have? You have a lot of lives, though, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have eight. <laughs> I got, yeah. So, normally we don't allow um, door oh, yeah. bunny skip? Oh, uh, I forgot to mention. Uh, Fern Furnace Fun is skipped. Yeah. That's also a good thing to mention. Yeah. That's, a, that's a randomizer setting. You can skip. Okay, yeah, I'll show you the, how bottles get. I skipped them, so. Nice. Yeah, now I, he's gonna I put teach the bottles you. there because if you skip yeah. the first one, it confuses a lot, a lot of people. So yeah. All right, so we're gonna go do dog skip. I haven't done this in like a couple months, so uh, we'll give you like three tries, and then um, there's one. Uh, after that, show off, I guess, um, putting in um, the jiggies because there's a lot of yeah. jiggies, and people might be like, "Oh, but there's only 25 spaces. What happens?" Yeah.
Alright, one more. Ah, alright. Ah, oh, that was close. Alright. Um, right. but yeah, it's it's a really hard trick. Um, basically, you, like, walk in that corner until you hear that you kind of, like, fell, and then you jump, and you can, uh, go around the door. Um, yeah. We do that any percent. Um, I haven't done any percent in a while, but... So I'm bad. But yeah, it's, it's a frame-perfect trick. Uh, what's... How's my... I can just go in. Yeah, and just for quality of life purposes, um, these doors are removed so that you can oh, yeah. get all the refills. I should also mention, uh, there's also this painting, but wait, is it already It's not left? actually done. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've never gotten that, so... We don't get the extra health in this stream. Uh, and then for the purposes of this uh, marathon, we do have the uh, Grand Total Fight as vanilla. Uh, but there are three different options uh, if you do want to make it harder for yourselves. Um, one of them is Blunt 4, one of them is Monster House, and the last one is uh, Grand Two Sides, or Mini Um I'll let you guys, if you guys want to try out the randomizer, you can go download it and watch them yourselves. Um, Storm just skipped uh, a lot of that first uh, section with using eggs. We're uh, fast. I feel about Rusty Duck Bass music being relegated to such a short point in the game, comparable. Oh my gosh, okay. She can't even throw out a fireball. You're not letting her throw out a fireball, that's pretty rude. Oh, there we go. Okay. Nice. Nice. Accurate. Yeah, na victory okay, victory can... punches, alright, alright. Oh, nice, okay. got hit. Alright, okay, great. Okay. Good. This, this is vanilla, by the way. I, I didn't. Yeah, like we do this all on a speedrun, don't worry. We're making it... it close to entertain the fans. Yeah. <laughs> the for the fans. Alright. Alright, don't get soft locked. I usually get soft locked. With this luck, I'm probably gonna get soft locked. I'm sorry, guys. It's gonna happen. So, I'm calling it. Uh, there is a weird kind of glitch that happens where sometimes uh, the kind of like um, the location where you shoot the eggs uh, just doesn't. Oh, rip! You missed Jinjo's skip. So you probably will yeah. get um, where like uh, the like the Jinjo section just won't accept eggs, and that's that's in base game as well. Um, we think it has to do something with like um, too many things on screen, like cause, like you have to like activate the Jinjo and at the same time. But sometimes it just happens vanilla, and we're not sure why. I think there's a bounty for it right now. Uh, if you see a bunch of honeycombs around the uh, map, that those are all from oh. Furnace Fun. Wow! Imagine dying on vanilla Grunty. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just... I'm just playing the game, you know. It's all fun. It's all fun. You can get there. I mean, there's heaps of health lying around. There's a bunch of health lying around. And he decides not to touch any of them. Well, that's soft lock. We can still get Ginginator soft lock, though. That does happen. Uh, I've actually never seen that. Yeah, uh, Trep got it one time. It's Trep's actually crazy. Talented. Yeah, that was Trep. Shoutouts. Shout oh yeah, you can kind of sure. just go in circles here and it kind of just, you don't get hit. It's kind of cool. Also, you can ground pound to, uh, you don't have to use, uh, gold feathers for that. Yeah, if you use, uh, Beak Buster, there's like a, uh, a window of time between, um, once you, like, land on the floor, and, um, like, uh, I think that it's like a second or two afterwards where you're just, like, immune to, uh, some kinds of damage, not all kinds of damage. I think if you, like, land on, like, a big butt or something like that, you, uh, still take damage. And time. Alright, GG's. Uh, once again, if you guys want to play the Rando for yourselves. Uh, we do have a server, and then you can just get it from GitHub. If you have any questions, you can ask there. Um, 
this is still technically like a work in progress, um, though I'm kind of taking a break on adding new features for now. Uh, but if we get more developers crossing my fingers, knock on wood, uh, <laughs> or maybe when the decom like becomes uh, we can work on this. One. Yeah, it's a really good randomizer. If you're way too overly familiar with Banjo Kazooie, like I am. Um, then the randomizer is a great way to kind of just replay the game with a bit of a new adventure, a bit of a new twist. Uh, and the settings are so robust, there is so much you can mess up and move around. Um, I personally like to play in a bit of a puzzle loop like format, uh, like where you're able to. What the heck is my microphone plugged in? Ah, uh, we can hear you. Yeah, you're good. Oh my goodness, I haven't had a fun dinner roll the whole time. Nice music. <laughs> nice! Oh, I'm so good at this. Uh, but yeah, like, if you um, have the... Uh, what I like to do, personally, is a, is a setting that's kind of like... We lightly mimic Zelda games, Zelda randomizers. Um, where, I, I mean, like, I shuffle all the collectibles, um, according to my liking, but I turn on the bottle shuffle, but I make sure that you, uh, all the world doors are actually, and all the note doors are actually closed, but when you shuffle all the world entrances, and, um, you exit out to their vanilla exit, so, like, if you, you enter Mumbo's Mountain, find yourself in Rustleback Bay, you'll exit out of the regular Rustleback Bay entrance, and, you go in there, you just get what you can, and take whatever moves you can, and you leave it. And then you take what you, you've you received there and apply it to a different world, and so on and so forth until you've completed the game. Oh, that is just a way that I really love to play this. Yeah, we have uh, different formats. Uh, we have um, Closed World Bottle Shuffle. We have uh, the One Floating Note where uh, somewhere in the game there's just one note and like once you learn the moves and collect that one note you can go fight Grantilda. Um, yeah. basic shuffle for like, you know, people who are trying to like dip their feet into the randomizer but don't necessarily know what they're doing. Um, and there's like, just, you can always like ask the Discord server for like recommended settings. Um, my alarm went off, that's normally when I wake up. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, welcome to into chat, uh, Wall Street. Yep. Hi, Hi, glad to be here. Yeah. I've, I've been uh, silently judging. What's up? <laughs> What's up? It's uh, okay, I've... I've been loudly judging. I do want to ask. I want to ask Storm what his favorite settings are. Uh, probably thirty-five, four hundred, where there's thirty-five jiggies, four hundred notes. Um, and then there's bottle shuffle as well. Um, but yeah. I really like those. Uh, that's pretty much our competitive settings that we have right now. It's not official. We kind of change it around a lot, but it's really fun to play. Just about an hour of gameplay, so cool. Well, do you all have like uh, I don't know, 25 minutes of uh, of content you can fill with? Sure. I I mean, I could go on the practice ROM and show some stuff, or I could patch another ROM really quickly and just show off the cosmetics. The features that you didn't show off? Yeah. Yeah, sure. If you've uh, got anything interesting to show, then go for it. Ah, uh, yeah, this is like... I'll have to a, patch uh, another ROM specific, here. ...specific costumes in the game. Yeah. But yeah, I can go do that. Maybe I'll someone with a bit of a random... Yeah, this is why I was suggesting to have, like, some of the settings that we... you probably wouldn't turn on on, because then we can show it off here, but... Yeah, I'm gonna go patch around. Uh, it shouldn't take yeah, too no long. Yeah, no worries. I'm just gonna turn on, turn on everything. I don't care if it crashes. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn on everything. Alright, cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for it to crash. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did I turn on everything? I'm gonna turn on every enemy randomization. Some of them can crash, but I'm doing it. We're gonna go all out here. Uh, also, float Sams are in the game. I hate float Sams, they're always disabled. I don't like full <laughs> Uh, you could- you should probably make it so that the, uh, uh, the, 
um, worlds are automatically open and there are no no doors, just to make sure that you can just go through the entire game. Maybe start off with all the moves so that you can just uh, run around, do whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I could do exit from world you were just in. And then I could do a random default starting area. That would be fun. Uh, I think it's up here, yeah, random starting area. Um, and then within world warps, let's do it by game. We're gonna break this video game, I'm sorry guys. We gotta break it. <laughs> we're gonna- percent. You know, even the jarring sounds we're turning on. <laughs> there's oh, like- no, not the okay, so, heads up, the jarring sounds, um, they are really jarring, like, that- We're not pulling back punches. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I'll turn on no D transformation. I'll put a random granny fight, scattered everything. I'm just gonna do this quickly. We turn on every setting, guys. Um, there we go. Then there we go. Shuffle by within world. All right. Uh, hat wearing gamer, you sound like you're across the board, which you actually are, but. <laughs> But now I probably sound a whole lot better. It only took me till the end of the run to actually do this. Um, can the chat hear Hat Wearing Gamer? Because he's quieter now. Oh. I think they can. I can hear him. I mean, we're into the Discord, so we can always just. Yeah. Might be. I could do this. So, oh, oh, hello. Hello. So up close and personal. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, uh, Fan Gamer Marathon ASMR After Dark. Gonna have to restart my. Ever here, here we only whispers. I'm just gonna oh, see geez. probably a blue screen. Please for don't a little scare bit. away the chat so that the next run can actually have people watching them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, here. I got an idea. Yeah, Where go for it? it. Where is it? Where is it? Sing along, guys. Yeah, uh, okay. until then, um, oh, hello? Wait, what are you doing? This, this is a DK. <laughs> are you just gonna play the DK rap for us or something? Or? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me get the, uh, we gotta entertain, you know? I don't know. I don't know what to put up, else to put on. Storm is a, a man of the people. Uh, is it done patching? No, it's still patching. Um. Uh, I will say that there is a Donkey Kong 64 randomizer that just came out recently. I'm not sure if they're still in like alpha beta or whether they're officially released. Um, but shout outs to them. Uh. The, uh, the Banjo Kazooie randomizer was very heavily influenced by the SM64 and the Ocarina of Time randomizer. So the Ocarina of Time randomizer is beautiful. Please go check them out. Um, just like the the N64 randomizer community is just like they're they're, they're so nutty with what they're doing. Oh, I've seen some fantastic results. From Oh, somebody in the chat mentioned stop and swap with DK64. There's actually in the game's like code, I guess you could say. There's uh, there's I think a cutscene where it uh, it's in DK's house and it goes to um, goes to I think I I'm not familiar with DK64 that much, but I think it's Gloomy Cavern or something like that. And usually that's that was where the ice key was gonna be in DK64. There's gonna be like some stop and swap stuff, but I guess they scrapped it like really early in, into development but that's cool to know um okay it's done now i just need to put it on all okay you might there might be, be some echo just for a second actually i'll just i'm mute you guys for just a second um let me get my this is like super scuffed i can't hear you guys by the way if you guys are talking i'm just gonna have to this literally should take like two like a minute or two uh, get in there. Come on.
Right. Gotta takes takes a bit for my thing to to load. Hopefully the everything's still playing. So everything's working fine. There we go. All right, now it shows up. Uh, I'm just gonna go to here. No, come on. Just do randomizer, randomize from, boom, boom, boom. Uh, what am I doing? This one, paste. All right, and then check. We're good. And then plug back in my headset, and then I can give you guys again in a sec. Come on. There we go. Just gonna turn off DK64 for now. I can hear you guys again, by the way. All right. All right. I gotta get, sorry. Yeah, definitely. It's a little secret. Yeah. All right, you may have noticed some changes in the intro cutscene here. Everything's muted. Uh, what's up? Is it? Is Amarak being bad? Hold on. Sorry. Because I can hear it right now. Uh, can you hear it now? Uh, I don't know why it's doing that. It must be here. Yeah. <laughs> I should get it to work. I just, sorry, I'm using this new thing and it's bad. Um, uh, executable. Okay, can you guys hear it now? Alright, cool. I think I think you guys can hear, it, right? You can't? What the hell? Even through Discord? Here, hold on. I can hear it through my stuff. Oh, game audio? Okay, game audio is back. It's so weird. Huh. Okay. So yeah, I don't think you, I, I mean they can hear it. So I guess you can watch it on stream or whatever. But but no Discord. Oh my god. Oh sorry guys. This is just this is an amazing session we have here, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, you know what? J just things happen and they happen. You know. You gotta, you gotta, gotta fix them. All right, I think that's. And can you guys hear Discord again? Blah 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 blah. 
Hello. Hello. You guys, you guys hear? You guys can hear everything now, can you? Please. Okay. One in chat, please. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Uh, Jip Up will be silently judging. Yes, I'm always judging. You hear you a gamer. Alright, there you go. Can they hear me? It's fine if they can't hear me. I'm not important. No, you're important. You made this randomizer. What? Oh, and we started in, in uh, Nipper. Uh, let's just point out a few things here. One, um, the icons <laughs> for the characters are different. Two, a Jiggy's an egg, specifically a stop and swap egg. Our health meter is something else. It's the empty honeycomb. And, um, what else? Go to view totals. Yeah, view totals. The text is different. Colors. Yeah. Yeah. So, this looks like kind of an FP one. But, uh, uh, I think that's, uh, RB. Yeah. Oh, oh, and there we go. Um, that's a beta feature, and I'm about to die. <laughs> I mean, Come if on. you die, it'll swallow like, right next to you. That was a uh, termite banjo too. That was a swap texture. As you can see, there is a uh, yellow egg as a jiggy. Yeah, uh, you wanted us to stall for like 20 minutes. We got you, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you have it randomized by game or by world? Uh, game. <laughs> okay, cool. Hey, here we are. We're in this yeah, place in now. Place. Oh, this there we go. Spring. Spring. Would recommend this for yeah, this can soft lock, and it's it's bad, so don't do it. Do it at your own risk. Logic, yeah. Oh, here we go. A Sir Slush and RBB. Here we are. <laughs> that's, a, that's always fun. And... Oh, another one over one? here, yeah. Does Obviously, it common, dude. Is, it is it loud? Is the music loud? I feel like it's loud. It is loud. Go to a different world. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's loud. Yeah. Let's go somewhere else. We had the Mumbo's Mountain Skybox. Oh, now we're in Click Lock Wood. And now we're talking Dab Nut. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to uh, do the. Oh, and uh, Royston's uh, made an appearance. Hey, collect them. <laughs> now you we got like six roisins to get the nab nut so you Wait. can eat for the winter. That was on. Oh, okay. And I thought I was actually gonna survive that, but I'm. You know, I guess I'm not as good as the game. Oh, and Sir Slush in here? That's actually a kind of good place for him. <laughs> pretty uh, fitting. Yeah, pretty fitting. Uh, I guess we'll go back to spring. I don't know why, but we'll just go back. Um. Oh, no, oh, uh, the those entrances are not randomized. Is that a Minjo? Oh crap! Oh, all right, Minjo's dead. I didn't know Tui was already a a thing. Um. Plunker is sticky and tasty. Where did where did Banjo B go? I thought I saw him here. All right, well, I guess he's not here. Took a vacation. I guess I could show off a cool sword. How many eggs? Oh, oh I don't have like. Nice green eggs. egg. And ham. I was gonna show off a trick where you can uh, destroy nab nuts boulder early, but I don't have enough eggs. But that's naughty. a thing. Or, or not? Yeah, I mix them up. Sorry guys. And it's early in the morning. <laughs> uh, had I collect an empty honeycomb? I think those are randomized too. Uh, if I can find one. <laughs> I mean, everything's everywhere all the time, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna go with Mumbo's. Oh, we're back in RBB. Yeah. RBB and Mad Monster Mansion have the most warps, um, but I'm surprised you haven't got to Mad Monster Mansion yet. Yeah. What was I gonna show off here? There's something. I forgot what I was gonna show off here. Oh, yeah. Skybox? Uh, let's go say to our friend Snacker. Or maybe, maybe, maybe just took the day off. I don't know. We'll go see. Snacker scares me. Maybe go see Snorkel. 
Oh yeah, both of them. We can could, we could see both of them. Is that the beta honeycomb? Uh, icon? Uh, I think there's an empty honeycomb. Empty? Oh. I, I know there's a beta one. Let's see if I can get this. Cool. Alright. Easy. First try. Yeah, that's, that's like a frame perfect trick. Totally. Oh! Oh! Oh, Snorkel! Hey, what's up, buddy? What's up, man? Snorkel, why are you trying to eat us? Wait, but where's the other Snorkel? Wait. Oh, Snacker! What are you doing down there, man? Yeah. Hashtag free Snacker, my boy did nothing wrong. Yeah, hashtag. You gotta start that hashtag. Oh, nice, uh... Um, texture, or the, the swap for the, uh... The, uh, whatever, the water meter. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Oh, back Man, this seed likes putting you in quick luck wood for some reason. Yeah. These aren't randomized though. I thought these were supposed to be randomized. Or are they not? Did it crash or something? But uh, they're typically not moved because, like, if, like for example, if you go to um, uh, in the lair, you go from uh, go towards the quick luck wood entrance. If those are all bulls, you can't actually progress. Yeah, unfortunate. Uh, what? Are, I mean, we gotta get to. Oh, here's Mumbo's. Yay, the first level. First level. Oh, here's Anikon. Yeah, so when you touch that, you'll see that you're. <laughs> it's red. It's double health. I mean, uh, once you once you uh, get the final puzzle with the double health, then all the Anikon health pieces will turn blue to match the air meter. <laughs> Oh yeah, also, this wasn't in my seed, but the uh, flower shuffle with the jiggies, or not jiggies, the notes, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Yeah, I, I kind of like doing that, and if you do the notes on, um, on global shuffle, then you just find the flowers in the world. Of course, and the great thing about that, even though I don't usually play it, but that's the same one, um, one of the funny things about that is that you can get feathers in numbers as well. I don't think there's anything else I could show off, right? In here. They said someone is really quiet on stream. I think it's, uh, I think it's Hat. Is it me, Jesus? Who is it? Point him out. <laughs> Put him on spot. <laughs> <laughs> Blast them. Yeah. Oh, and now we're gonna again RBB just just loving this place. Uh, oh yeah. I mean RBB makes sense because it has like a lot of warps. Um, what d didn't make sense to me was the um, the clock would keep showing up. This guy's uh, texture is swapped. Do you remember when I said in TTC he was uh, he didn't really have a hitbox? Well now he does because this is actually a normal crab. It's just uh, has a swapped uh, uh, texture model or model, yeah. I'm back in RBB. What is this level? With the loud music. Oh, now we're in Gobies. I don't think there's anything in here, right? No. Uh. Oh yeah, the Teehee is a purple one now. From, uh, from Templar. The uh, shuffleboard in the game. So yeah, they're purple now. Yeah, I'm gonna turn up turn up Scott real quick. A little bit quiet. I think I put him to like 40%. <laughs> My bad. Uh, uh, the skybox in this area is now. Um, I think it's the it's it's not Mad Monster Mansion. It's the graveyard outside Mad Monster Mansion. Uh, yeah. I think those share a skybox, don't they? Oh. Or do you mean like the- Oh, that's a whiplash. Oh yeah, that's uh, our, our buddy whiplash. Oh yeah, that's a thing. I gotta- I gotta show that off. Oh, yeah, yeah, animations. The animations. The animations. I, I wish I specifically made it so I can't learn eggs, but we can't do that yet, unfortunately. Because then I could have learned the move and just got eggs. I mean, you only need like two to show off the future. Yeah, I'm gonna get some more. Right um. So yeah, when you throw stuff. 
You're uh, you're Chimpy, right? That's Chimpy's animation. Or no, it's Congo's. No, that's right? Congo's. Yeah, Congo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then pooping it is also Congo's, so you might want to yeah. poop some eggs. Yep, I'm gonna do that. Just cool animation swaps. Uh, we used to have a uh, crawl animation for Chimpy, I believe, but it caused some crashes. So... That one would specifically crash yeah. in Clanker's mouth, and I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunate, but, uh, you know, you gotta remove stuff sometimes. It sucks, but yeah. you gotta do it. Also, yeah, if you didn't see, uh, a lot of the enemies, like the, the, I don't know specifically what their names are, but the mummies, the, the skeletons. Mummums. Yeah. Mumbos. They're all swapped with, uh, Jinjo models. So we, we just call them Minjos, because, uh, Minjos are from Banjo Tooie. And they're and they're mean. Disguised as Jinjos. Hope it um, don't end up in Clanker's mouth. Uh, we took off the chimpy uh, walking one, so there won't be a crash there. Oh yeah, Skybox. Uh, the Skybox is different. Yeah, I think uh, Hatwing Gamer mentioned that earlier. Okay, cool. I like seeing meet Skyboxes in one book. Oh, that's from this level. Uh, there's two parts of the Skyboxes. There's the like the sky part of it and there's also the clouds um so the God. clouds are also randomized oh nice nice uh water pyramid early yeah i can usually get that but not today unfortunately but yeah you can just clip through there and get into the water pyramid early try to do that but you know just didn't happen unfortunately um i guess i could I don't have enough health for that. But there's a way you can use Banjo to get into uh, the Sphinx. Kind of like how we did it with the bee, but um, it's like a... Uh, I don't know how to explain it, I guess. Banjo has like this thing like where if he goes to like a certain uh, surface, kind of just like free falls with Talon Trot. And that builds up a lot of speed, and you can just kind of clip through the ground sometimes. But uh, uh, I think I could... I don't know where to go now. I think I just go to the loading zone up here. Maybe wait, is this this loading zone here? So did you randomize it? I don't know. I think I did. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. Maybe uh, it's just maybe that it RNG. Didn't yeah. Um, RNG. some warps can't leave the area because you have to do a certain task to activate them. Nice beta timer. Yeah, beta timer right there. Left over in cartridge. So that's cool to see. Um, oh my lord, is that Sir Slushes in here? That is a nightmare. Let's see if we can see him. <laughs> oh yeah, and the termite. Yeah. That's uh, that's the banjo termite. Oh, what the heck? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sir Slushes doesn't care about your walls. Yeah. I think there's um, I think you can clip through like the holes in the uh, in like the I guess the floor gate thing. I don't know what to call it. But um, you can you can kind of just like fly through there with the bee, and uh, kind of just does some active collision sometimes. So maybe a snowball went through there somehow. But uh, yeah, we're back at RBB again. Everyone's favorite level. Thank you. Wait, how much time we have? Uh, I want to say we have four minutes, but they might if they want to kick us out now. Like I understand, because. Uh, yeah, I guess we could people. end it here. I mean, is there anything else you want you want to like show? Uh, like, I mean, like it's all randomized, so I wouldn't know where to show it. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think I'm good to to end right now. Yeah, uh, if uh, a moderator could come in here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thanks, guys. Uh, really enjoyed this. Some funny moments, you know. That's just what happens yeah. in randomizer. Thank you, Storm, for doing the run, and thank you, yep. Hat Rang Gamer, for co commentary. No worries. Like, again, yeah, everyone, feel free to check out the randomizer. There's so much you can do with it. It's yeah, so hopefully, good. it'll get to a stable state. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Swell time. I appreciate the, uh, the showcase of the wackier side of the randomizer after. <laughs> yeah, good times. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, is, is there 
anything else you want to do? Any shout outs, any community mentions, places you, people can get into this stuff if they're curious? Yeah, so if you want to learn more about um, BK modding, I do recommend the BK modding server called Banjo's Backpack. Um, some very smart people in there um, and some like really interesting projects. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Kirko Mods. Um, he has a lot of um, like ROM hacks that people love to play. Um, the most notably Jiggies of Time. Uh, shout outs to all of, like the testers and the people who are currently playing the BK Rando because without like their like you know uh, I guess like they're like them playing it like you know wouldn't be motivated to make this. Uh, shout outs to the BK speedrunning community for finding like a lot of tricks like especially chronic keys. Um, if you guys want any shout outs. Shout out to Giant Jigglypuff3 for making this thing. Uh, nah, yeah. screw that guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess uh, I'll shout out the BK speedrunning Discord. Also, just the randomizer Discord in general. If you want to just start out, uh, we could build you a seed. And, uh, yeah, we can have a fun time with BK if you're into BK. And, and, and if you tell to the server, let me know if you're Australian. Yeah, we got. Oh a yeah, we have a a role in the Discord <laughs> called uh, Drop Bears, um, and it's only for Australians. <laughs> yeah, uh, trust me. Like, I mean, for the non-Australian audience, like when they hear Drop Bears, like what? But all the Australians, when they heard that, they are laughing their heads off. There's they surprisingly like, a lot of Australians in the in the server. Yeah, it's great. But yeah, I think right, that's, that's it. Uh, that's good. Well, awesome then. Uh, thank you for being here. It was a, uh, it was super cool to watch. Um, you are, you are. Uh, you are. I don't know where true. I was going with that thought. Cool. Um, <laughs> you are. Yeah, no, it was super entertaining. Had a great time, and uh, we are actually going to transition over because the next run is full techno jackass, which is a wild game. Um, it's going to be a race, and uh, we're going to uh, see how that goes, but let's transition.